because he got pressure. And, you know, the main that's one of the main keys you got to look at in terms of, of your quarterback is not just how he responds when the game plan is going well, but how does he respond when things start falling apart? Uh, how does he respond as a leader for his team? And then how does he respond, you know, in those decision-making times when he has to just choose between pulling that pass down and running it or staying with that pass and let his receiver get open? And and that's a, that's a tough lesson to learn. And we saw him mature in that game. So it'll really, really be interesting to see how he does against Slovakia next week, uh, coming on Friday, to see how he, he internalizes those lessons learned and then how he's going to apply that on the field. Uh, well, I think he's going to do well. It's just, going, you know, there's a little learning curve there. That's what you were talking about there. Just want to mention real quickly our Horatio State Bank line player of the game for the Dirks Outlaw game is going to be the running back junior Drake Angel. He had 37 rushing yards and six tackles, and, and he for that he's going to be named our player of the game for the Lions this week. Ochoa had a pretty good ball game too. Uh, had 28 rush yards, six tackles, and a tackle for loss. So we were, we were really we were right there. <laughs> we were in between. So yeah. Greg threw a dart and yeah, <laughs> and hit Tony, <laughs> and then we picked Angel. <laughs> uh, but but just, but just just kind of add in there on uh, Drake Angel. Uh, you know he's not a big guy. He weighs in at about 160 pounds. Uh, you know watched him last year, particularly defensively, and he ran a little bit. Uh, last year as well he runs a lot bigger than that he he keeps his shoulders square to the line he hits his holes well and, and he reads pretty good he's not afraid of contact he's, he's not a big guy but he will sure enough go in and 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 he's not looking to to uh to dodge a hit if he can get another yard out of it he runs a lot bigger than he did uh, yeah, well, we we and we already know he's a defensive stud, so because uh, that's in Hootens, it's in it's written down, so so we don't have to worry the about his defense. Line about any player in the, in the 527 whole pages that's of the Hootens exactly, magazine. That's is exactly defensive right. Stud. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Tell him I'm holding my book for him. I'll give it to him at the end of the year. So because uh, he he definitely needs to keep a couple of copies of that, but but. You but we know we know he's a, he's a good player, and, and we we appreciate you coming on and talking to we us sure about, about the line game, and, and uh, hopefully we can get you on in the future. Sure, you betcha. I, I love talking about the lines, and I love talking about football. Have a good week. Have All a right, great right. week. Yet. All right. Bye bye. And the Foreman Gators this yeah, week. Yeah, it went, with sickness, uh, they had decided to to cancel uh, their game, and. Uh, I, I got a uh, chance to converse with Coach uh, Nate Lynch uh, over the weekend, and uh, he says they are on to men. They're they're hopeful to play this week, but they had no choice but to do what they did last week. That mm. just too many kids uh, were were out with sickness. If they do get to play this week, uh, it's a tough test as uh, they host the Hampton Bulldogs. Hampton got them forty six to nothing last year mm. and has eighteen. Returning stars, <laughs> wow. and they're That's one almost of the, all of them. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think well, I think some of them are using their fifth year of eligibility, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, they they run the veer, and I don't know how many teams left that run the veer, but uh, the veer's kind of a, an offense where you don't have any stars. It doesn't put the the, the spotlight on one particular player, and it, it can be hard to stop. Yeah, mm, it really can be. And Foreman's going to have a tough t- test against the. The Hampton Bulldogs, mm-hmm. at least they're at home. They are at home, and uh, we wish them, uh, one, to get well, two, good luck. Yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. You know, we haven't talked about yet, player of the area. And we have that. Our our Southwest Arkansas sports page on the air, player of the area is going to be Jordan Hill. He had 21 rushing attempts for 202 yards. Average 9.6 yards per carry. That's pretty mm. good. His long was a 67-yard <laughs> run. He scored four touchdowns. Wow. In one two-point conversion. Very cool. So that's 26 points <laughs> by himself. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> For, so he's going he's gonna to be the Pilgrim's Pride player of the area for that's the right. Southwest Arkansas Sports Page on the, the air. air. You got it, man. And before we sign off, we want to give a big shout out to the Cosatot River Eagles playing their first ball game in their program history tonight at Center Point, 7 p.m. Fly Eagles Fly.
I really, really enjoyed this episode because I don't know if you did this on purpose, Tony. It seems purposeful, but this is the uh, episode where we hear from all the guys that make the radio broadcast happen, play-by-play guys, which is just awesome. So we got you two in studio. Of course, you guys both call the, the Leopards. We had Jeff Tuttle, who calls the Dirk, Dirk's Outlaws, Jim Cross, who calls the Ashdown Panthers, and Philip Fields, who calls the uh, Horatio line. Yeah. So it's nothing but play-by-play guys. So normally we have a ton of coach interviews well this time we get to hear from the guys oh yeah that was all intentional that was totally all intentional <laughs> it seems like it was but we're just gonna give tony the credit yeah so definitely well, very cool man that, that wraps it up for episode six that so does southwest arkansas sports page on the air see you next see week See you next week hello everyone and welcome to the electric cooperatives of arkansas high school game day show this is chase hartzell alongside co-host chris gay and we are coming to you from the Lion College Studios. Tonight's show is brought to you by Simmons Bank, UAMS Health, Orthopedics, and Sports Medicine, Arkansas Delta Byways Regional Tourism, the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, Hot Springs, Keep Arkansas Beautiful, Saracen Casino Resort in Pine Bluff, the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, Arkansas Brighter Futures 529, Lion College, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the University of Central Arkansas, Arkansas Game and Fish, Roller Funeral Home, Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia, Murphy Arts District in El Dorado, Washita Baptist University, and the Great American Conference. Tonight, we'll take a look at Rex's Road to the Rock rankings, hear from coaches from around the state, and get a peek at some of this week's top matchups from each classification. We have a big week coming up, and Chase, why don't you go ahead and talk about Rex's latest Road to the Rock rankings brought to you by Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau. Here is the statewide top 10 going into week two. Bryant is number one, Conway is number two, Bentonville is at number three, Greenwood checks in at number four, and speaking of Bulldogs, Fayetteville checks in at number five, Pulaski Academy is number six, Little Rock Parkview is number seven, Little Rock Catholic is number eight, Making their debut in the statewide top 10 this season is Little Rock Mills at 9, and Warren rounds out the top 10 at number 10. I have Conway head coach Buck James on the Baptist Health Studio Lions. Coach, how have you seen your team adjust to a new season and a new system? I think our kids, uh, for the most part, have bought into what we're trying to do, and uh, we had some success uh, in our scrimmages, and we had success in our first ball game, but we still have a lot of things we need to work on. Uh, to be a good football team and a team that can p- compete for a conference championship and make a deep run in the playoffs and, and possibly a state championship. Well, as you mentioned, a 42-39 to win against Bentonville on September 1st. What were kind of your big takeaways, especially from this brand-new team that you're coaching? Well, I thought we came out and we played really like our hair was on fire early and I thought we came out and played very, very well, you know, and sometimes, you know, uh, uh, when you're not confident or you, you uh, are in a new system, uh, you know, a lot of times you'll get out there and think too much and do and, and not do what you're supposed to do. But I thought our kids came out uh, firing on all cylinders. I thought they played extremely hard. And uh, we went in halftime with a, with a nice lead and uh, we come back out and we relaxed a little bit and, uh, we we have to uh, you know we have we we'll get a chance to put our, our foot on the throat of our opponent. We got to learn to uh, can keep competing, keep playing hard. And you know what I'm most proud of of our kids is that they had a chance to either win or lose the game there in the last uh, three or four minutes of the game, and they found a way to fight through it and uh, uh, come out with a victory. <laughs> well, you guys have Springdale coming up. What is on the scouting report? What, what are you looking at that Springdale team, and what are you looking and game planning against the most? Well, they're an extremely large football team. It's amazing how big they are, and they're in a, the a double wing offense, and and uh, you know they're running the option and uh, running the true triple, and you know that's something that people don't do much anymore. So uh, it's a, it's been a big task for our coaches, and uh, it's a big, a big task for our you know this week because. You have to play assignment football against that kind of offense, and uh, it's hard to do in, in a few days of preparation. But uh, they they're very they're very good at what they do. They have some uh, good young players. They have some, like I said, an extremely uh, large offensive line. They got speed. 
uh, they are able to hit, hit the ball up the middle as well as go outside. And, uh, this is going to be a tough test for us uh, defensively to get out there and uh, be able to stop these guys and, and get the ball to our offense. But in a game like this, a lot of times it comes down to a number of possessions that you have. And, you know, they want to keep it to a, a six to eight uh, possession game. And we're looking for somewhere during 10 and 14 possession game. And so, uh, you know, so somewhere in the middle, we have to be able to, to stop them, get them off the field get our offense out there and score some points where our defense can play with their ears pinned back and go after the football. Well, thank you, Coach James. Um, and that'll be all for us today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back after this timeout. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas deliver reliable, affordable power to more than 60% of Arkansas, the field we call home. The 17 dedicated electrical cooperatives around the state manage over 75,000 miles of power lines, delivering power to more than half a million homes, farms, businesses, and of course, football fields, improving the lives of communities and their residents all across Arkansas. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, the power to play, the power to deliver. I'm Rex Nelson. People travel to Arkansas to experience its natural beauty. We even market ourselves as the natural state. Our landscapes not only make this state exciting to visit, but a wonderful place to live. Not to mention the positive impact tourism has on our economy. It's our responsibility to keep our environment litter-free. Let's do our part to keep it beautiful. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. $1.2 billion. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Well, thanks to the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, you don't have to imagine because we can tell you exactly what's possible. You can fund more than 720,000 scholarships for Arkansas students. Scholarships that have educated teachers, nurses, engineers, welders, computer coders, and more, changing their lives and reshaping their communities in the process. So keep playing, Arkansas, and together we can imagine what happens next. Money is never an easy topic to talk about, but it is a must when you have kids. The Arkansas Brighter Future 529 plan makes saving for college or trade school quick and effortless, and all contributions are state tax deductible. Brighter Futures start today. Visit BrighterFutureDirect529.com. To learn more about the Arkansas 529 plan, its investments, objectives, risks, and costs, read the official statement at BrighterFutureDirect529.com. Paid for by the Arkansas Section 529 Plan Review Committee. Ready for a music tour through the Arkansas Delta? Let's see. Johnny Cash Boy hit home? Check. A new rockabilly exhibit? Check again. A live broadcast of the country's longest-running blues radio program? We've got it. The bronze bust of Levon Helm? On the list. Find these spots and more as you travel the Arkansas Delta Music Trail. Go to the new deltabyways.com to see all the driving tours through the Arkansas Delta Byways region. This ad paid with state and regional funds. For more than 150 years, Lyon College has provided endless opportunities for Arkansas students to contribute, create, and lead in our communities. Rooted in faith, Lyon combines a traditional education with a real-world experience in a beautiful small-town setting. As a new member of NCAA Division III, we're committed to providing opportunities for student-athletes to excel in the classroom and on the field. For more information on the Lyon College experience, visit lyon.edu. Lyon College, a better world starting in Arkansas. Your best life. It's a Saturday morning hunt. These are the traditions we pass down generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange. Because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. Fresh off their summer lineup of convertible sports cars, for September, Saracen is giving away the king of luxury pickups, Toyota's new Tundra Capstone from Trotter Toyota. The Tundra Capstone is the ultimate in luxurious trucks, and it can be yours just for playing your favorite games at Saracen Casino Resort. Only 40 minutes from Little Rock, Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play and win. Saracen Casino Resort. 
Casino Resort. Vegas, Arkansas style. Gambling problem? Call 800-522-4700. The love of football defines fall weekends and in many homes are families, but it's a demanding sport that can cause injury. That's why UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is on sidelines and in locker rooms for high schools and colleges across the state, ready to care for athletes with clinics in central and northwest Arkansas. UAMS Health, official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics and future Razorbacks all over Arkansas. Learn more at uams.health slash team. Are you looking for a place where your educational journey can truly thrive? Southern Arkansas University has helped thousands of people like you earn a degree. At SAU, it's not just a university, it's a supportive community dedicated to your success. Explore the accredited programs SAU has to offer led by experienced faculty who are passionate about your growth. From business and biology to education and engineering, SAU provides a comprehensive educational experience. Join the legacy of excellence at Southern Arkansas University and take the opportunity to shape your brightest future imaginable. Your journey starts in Magnolia, Arkansas. Why hold a parade that only goes one block? What in the world is a bathtub race? And how can one town be the training ground for American Pharaoh and the former playground of Al Capone? That's just hot springs being hot springs. Between thermal waters, thoroughbreds, and the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade, this town isn't trying to be unique. It just comes naturally. Come experience this slightly unconventional and completely wonderful place called Hot Springs, Arkansas. For more info, visit hotsprings.org. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Your business is up against a lot of things these days. Inflation costs, workforce issues, federal overreach, the list of things keeping you up at night keeps getting longer. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas is here to help. We are constantly working to improve the business climate and make Arkansas as competitive as possible. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas works tirelessly for your business so you can rest easy. Join us today. Oh, the smell of those charcoal grills. It's that time of year again when the nights are getting cooler and the trees are changing colors. I am Renata jenkins Fowler with Roller Funeral Homes, reminding us all with school back in session to watch and be careful for children in school buses, dogs being walked, and joggers. Also, this time of year has us getting ready for those tailgates and big games this week. So play hard, cheer loud, and drive carefully. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. And welcome back to the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day show. Number one in the 3A classification this week are the Prescott Curly Wolves. Number two is Boonville. Number three is Salem. Number four is Camden Harmony Grove. And number five is Glen Rose. Another 3A team that's looking to build upon another strong season are the defending champions, the Charleston Tigers. And Chase, you had a chance to talk with Tigers head coach, Ricky May. We are back on the Baptist Health studio lines with Coach Ricky May from Charleston High School. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Coach, before we get into the 2023 season, let's go back to 2022. Charleston winning its third consecutive conference championship and more importantly, winning that first state title since 2014. What did that win mean to you personally, and what did it mean for this program? Well, you know, uh, the the great thing about winning that was we had a great bunch of kids that had sacrificed and, and done a lot of good things along the way and had been great leaders uh, throughout, you know, and it was great to see those guys get that state championship. And then, like you said, the community hadn't got to experience that in a few years, and so it was great for the community as well. You mentioned those leaders, Coach, a lot of seniors graduating with this last class, and with that, some younger players getting to step up into leadership roles this year. However, they did get to learn some from some very talented players. How do you think that experience will pay dividends for them this season? Well, uh, you know, right now we're playing a lot of younger kids that, that don't have any experience because we did have such an amazing senior class. Uh, but, but the guys that we did have last year that contributed, 
uh, and and started and uh, we're are very very they're working real hard to be leaders and and doing a very good job at doing that and so you know we're hoping we're hoping that those late games when when they got to play a lot during the game uh, that you know that that experience will pay off down the road. And now moving ahead to this week, Coach, you're taking on Ozark on the road. Ozark regularly in the 4A playoffs and always a threat to make a run. What can we expect from this week's matchup? Well, you know, they're well coached. Uh, they're they're very big. Um, they do a lot of good things over there in that program. And, you know, it's a rivalry game for us. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's always a good time. Uh, you know, to go over and play somebody that good. Uh, we scheduled uh, way, you know, above our head to, to get ready for conference and the playoffs. And, you know, uh, so we, we, like, we like this matchup. All right. Well, thank you, Coach, and good luck this week against the Hillbillies. Thank you. We appreciate it. We now move on to Class 2A, and Chris, a bit of a shakeup after a big game last week. The Desark Eagles taking down the Hazen Hornets to move up into the number one spot. So the Eagles are at number one. Hazen now at number two. East Point Set County comes in at number three. Mineral Springs coming in at number four. And Mark Tree checking in at number five. Well, we've talked about 30 of the top teams in the state, but let's talk about some other teams that are having marquee matchups this weekend as well. Well, Chris, my mind automatically goes to Northwest Arkansas, and there are a couple teams there in the 7A classification that are looking to remain undefeated when they go on the road to face 5A opponents this week. We start out with Fort Smith Southside, the Mavericks looking for a win in win tonight, and then Farmington will be hosting Rogers. A 6A versus 6A matchup that I'll add to that is the El Dorado Wildcats are hosting the Marion Patriots. What's interesting about that game is that El Dorado head coach Chris Hill got his first win last weekend against Camden Fairview by one point. You mentioned Camden Fairview, Chris. The Cardinals are a part of a talented 5A South Conference this year. We've already mentioned Little Rock Parkview and Hot Springs in our top five rankings. Camden Fairview is going to be a contender in that conference as well, not to mention Lakeside, Texarkana, as well as Magnolia. They're all undefeated going into week two. So some marquee matchups to watch there in the 5A South this week. Camden Fairview traveling to the number two team in 3A, Boonville. Lakeside will be hosting the defending 4A state champion and the number two team in the 4A classification this year in Malvern. And then Texarkana will be hosting the Arkadelphia Badgers. And we'll be back after this break with the big game of the week. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's team of over 2,000 employees has one mission, deliver reliable, affordable, responsible power to 1.2 million members across Arkansas. But closings of baseload power plants across America are making this tougher and tougher. We believe in intermittent resources like wind and solar, but the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. A balance of power game plan that includes every energy resource is a must to get the Friday night lights bright. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. I'm Rex Nelson. As a native Arkansan, I take pride in our state's natural beauty. And as someone who has been in all 75 counties, I've seen how prevalent litter is across our state. It's time for people to clean up our state for those who live here and to enhance Arkansas's image for those wanting to visit. Let's clean up Arkansas. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to do your part and get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange, because some traditions last a lifetime. 
Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. Fresh off their summer lineup of convertible sports cars, for September, Saracen is giving away the king of luxury pickups, Toyota's new Tundra Capstone from Trotter Toyota. The Tundra Capstone is the ultimate in luxurious trucks, and it can be yours just for playing your favorite games at Saracen Casino Resort. Only 40 minutes from Little Rock, Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play and win. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Gambling problem? Call 800 522 4700. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now? That your body's healthy? And that those around you are taken care of too? Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been Kansans for more than 70 years, providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. College dreams come true at the University of Central Arkansas, especially now with the UCA commitment. This new program provides a debt-free pathway for tuition and fees for Arkansas students whose families earn $100,000 or less a year. And that impacts everything. It's fewer barriers and endless opportunities. Welcome to Bear Country. Learn more about the UCA commitment at uca.edu. And welcome back to the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show, where we have the Arkansas Brighter Futures 529 Big Game of the Week. And Chase, tell us about it. Well, Chris, whenever you have two defending state champions facing off against each other, these two teams are within 15 miles of each other. It's hard not to pick that as the game of the week. So this week we are going with Little Rock Parkview going to Bryant. This is non-conference football at its best. It's not every week that you get to see one of the best teams from one classification faced off with one of the best teams from another classification, but that's exactly what we're getting this week. When the Patriots face off against the Hornets, it's going to be must-see football. One team keeping its eye on that big game of the week will be Conway. The Wampus Cats are ranked number two overall in the state and in Class 7A in the latest Rex's Road to the Rock rankings. Conway. After beating Bentonville last week in a marquee matchup, will be looking to defend its home turf for the first time this year against Springdale, looking to solidify their place at the top of the rankings and perhaps even move up. Well, two games that I'll mention. One, the Russellville Cyclones are playing the Pulaski Academy Bruins. That should be a very entertaining matchup. And then Valley View, they are hosting the Rivercrest Colts, and that should be very intriguing. Moving back to the Little Rock Metroplex, another big matchup tonight. Little Rock Catholic ranked number eight in the overall state rankings and number three in Class 6A will be hosting Greene County Tech. Should be an entertaining matchup in many great matchups in Central Arkansas tonight. That's going to wrap up this week's edition of the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. We hope you enjoyed our program, and be sure to tune in at 10 o'clock for the Simmons Bank Friday Night Scoreboard Show on this station. From 10 to midnight, Rex Nelson and Nate Olson will give you the latest scores and updates from around the state, as well as the newest Rex's Road to the Rock rankings. Tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by Simmons Bank, UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Arkansas Delta Byways Regional Tourism, the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, Hot Springs, Keep Arkansas Beautiful, Saracen Casino Resort in Pine Bluff, the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, Arkansas Brighter Futures 529, Lion College, Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, the University of Central Arkansas, Arkansas Game and Fish, Roller Funeral Home, 
Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia, Murphy Arts District in El Dorado, Washita Baptist University, and the Great American Conference. The DeQueen Leopards are on the air. DeQueen Leopards football, proudly presented by Gentry Chevrolet, online at gentrychevyinc.com. Nobody beats a Gentry deal. DeQueen Auto Group, our area's Ford Dodge Chrysler Jeep dealer. We're Hauser. We don't just grow trees. The Woods Agency, Shelter Insurance. Are you covered? Check with Jeff Woods. DeQueen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. Bailey Discount Building Supply. Everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud to present the Leopards Player of the Game. DeQueen Church of Christ. Love, serve, grow. Pilgrims of DeQueen. A good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. Ricky's Body Shop. Lakeside Drive. Quality auto body repair since 1982. Diamond Bank, offering sound and meaningful financial services. Chandler Funeral Home, dedicated to the care of those we serve. Audubel National Bank, where your dreams become reality. Howard Memorial, offering primary health care. Your new healthy starts here. Fun and Learn Land, preschool and daycare, Sevier County Developmental Center on College Drive in DeQueen. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, 990 Highway 70 East, phone 642-5900. Red River Credit Union, providing our members with savings and loan services. Wilkerson Funeral Home, putting families first since 1929. Housing Authority of Sevier County, providing safe and affordable housing. Farmers Bank and Trust, friends and neighbors helping each other find financial solutions for a lifetime. Bruce Westerman for United States Congress. Visit www.brucewesterman.com. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, giving you something to smile about. First State Bank of DeQueen, we're big on you. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and check availability. Ivan Smith Furniture in Nashville where you'll find everything to furnish your home, both stylishly and affordably. State Representative Deanne Vaught, proud to serve Southwest Arkansas at the state capitol. And now, let's go to the stadium with Tony Stowers and Greg Revels. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's pregame show brought to you by Bristow Custom Metals, the top metal fabricators in the Arklatex. Experts in metal artwork from custom metal fire pits to metal spiral staircases, handrails, company signs, and more. CNC plasma and water jet cutting, powder coating, welding, and mobile sand blessing services available. And they are an officially licensed partner of the Arkansas Razorbacks, specializing in Razorback logo metal wall art. Get a quote at Bristow Custom Metals on Facebook. All right, we'll go to the Leopard locker room with Coach Richard Bell and the voice of the Leopards, Jay Bunyard, after this timeout. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet. With APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit Gentry Chevy Inc. Com or check them out on Facebook. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. 
Simmons Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone. So it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. You're on the come up and proud of your grind, which is why the McDonald's app is your favorite app. Waiting in lines? Not great for your bottom line. So you hit the app to order ahead. Your faves are ready when you pull up and you're on your way again with the quickness. Order ahead in the McDonald's app to save time. Use the app, get large fries for a buck. We'll prep while you're on the way when you choose dine-in, curbside, or counter pickup. I participate in McDonald's. Offer valid through 12 31 This offer is only available in the McDonald's app. For over 70 years, we at the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas have had our game face on. Our passion for delivering reliable, affordable power to every corner of Arkansas is stronger than ever. And with 17 electric distribution cooperatives, we cover more than 60% of Arkansas. That's power to more than half a million homes, farms, businesses, winter, spring, summer, and cool fall football Friday nights. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, powering the thrill of Friday night lights. Hello again, everyone. Jay Bunyard at Leopard Stadium for tonight's pregame show, 96th meeting between DeQueen and Nashville. And it's our interview with Coach Richard Bell, brought to you by San Juan's Automotive Repair. The diagnostic specialist can get to the source of your automotive issues with state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment combined with expertise in automotive repair. Located one mile north of the 7071 Junction on J.B. Logan Circle at San Juan's Automotive Repair. And, Coach, you, you touched on this a little earlier in the week, but you saw some improvement against Ashdown. Kicking games was improved, although we did give up that punt return. But you cut the penalty yardage down from 101 to 23. I know you're still being plagued by turnovers, though. Yeah, uh, so in the game, uh, I always preach, you know, 11 minutes of the football, and unfortunately uh, – when you have a guy miss a tackle and all the other guys are coming, like on you, like you mentioned on that punt return, uh, we had a guy miss a tackle, held him up for a couple of seconds, and everybody was coming to get him. So we basically had everybody in an above ground swimming pool. And when he broke loose, there was no one there to catch him. Uh, so that was unfortunate. Uh, yeah, again, the turnovers uh, hurt us. We had a, a fumble recovery uh, for a touchdown, and we had a pick that almost went all the way. So those things we gotta we gotta try to shore up on. Uh, I was very pleased with our run defense. Held them. To less than 50 yards of running. Uh, again, our, we had zero blown coverages on film. Every pass that they caught was a contested pass. Nobody was wide open. Uh, but, you know, credit to Ash down there, went and made plays. Coach, a very physical game. I, I know that we all got a scare after the game when Ulysses Cotto collapsed. Uh, how's he doing, and what's the injury status of the rest of the team? I know you're going to be with, without a couple of starters tonight. Yeah, uh, Ulysses uh, was a scary thing, but uh, thankfully it was just a dehydration and a full body cramp, which can still be scary, you know, to the kids and the coaches. Uh, but once we got an IV bag in him in the ambulance, uh, you know, he popped right back up in his regular Kodo, and uh, uh, he should be back this week. Although I've, I've held him out earlier this week, just d you know, due to weakness because of full body cramp and full body dehydration, you know, it does a, it does a toll on you. Uh, but we lost uh, starting right. Uh, tackle uh, Juan Penaloza. Uh, he's probably going to be out for the next two weeks. Luckily, we have a bye week this uh, next week, but this week's not going to help us. Uh, and then Jackson Van Winkle. Uh, he uh, we thought he may have broken his foot. Uh, luckily, the X-ray has come back negative, but it's still the size of the missing man's foot, so it's it's big and swollen up. So we'll be out our starting uh, fullback and linebacker, and uh, we'll be out our starting right tackle. But we do get uh, Henry Capizano back. Uh, he's been gone for the last two games, so uh, that'll be a plus. Yeah, speaking of Henry, he was your leading tackler in the Waldron scrimmage. So just having him back uh, at least helps with depth. Oh, of course, yeah. And and, and losing, uh, uh, you know, losing Jackson. So our uh, our backup fullback, uh, which is Gareth Quintero, who not, who plays linebacker, Henry can step into that role, and Gareth can be more, uh, you know, of the fullback role this week. And uh, hopefully, we can pull it together. All right, we'll continue our visit with Coach Bell following this timeout. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. 
At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown Dequeen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call DeQueen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home, fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in DeQueen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Rex Nelson. Outside of the state's natural beauty, the thing that strikes me most as I travel Arkansas is the junk in yards and trash along the highways. In a place that markets itself as the natural state, we've too often been guilty of, at best, ignoring our natural treasures, at worst, polluting and littering them. Let's take pride in our state by keeping it litter-free. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology led by our experienced surgeons, Dr. Bertrand Fongi and Dr. Mark Sutherland. Our surgeons now have access to state-of-the-art equipment for hernia repair, colon resections, gallbladder removal, and appendectomies. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. At the D-Queen Church of Christ at 1305 West Collin Ray Drive, we are dedicated to be Jesus to our community and excited to announce the opening of our new on-site food pantry. Our pantry is open the first and third Wednesday of each month from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. The D-Queen Church of Christ is an equal opportunity TE, FAP, and USDA food provider. We would love to see you this Sunday at 1015 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Jay Bunyard back at Leopard Stadium in our pregame visit with Coach Richard Bell brought to you by San Juan's Automotive Repair, offering electrical and engine repair, suspension lifts and repair, brakes and transmission services on all makes and models. They're open 8 to 6, Monday through Friday, San Juan's Automotive Repair. Well, Coach, it's the 96th meeting all time against Nashville in an old rivalry that dates back to 1911. It's the third 5A South opponent in a row for the Scrappers. Now, Magnolia handled them by four touchdowns, and they outlasted Hope 24-21 to last Friday. What impresses you most about the Scrappers offensively? Uh, it's just their, uh, their ability to make plays in so many different ways. Uh, you know, they can spread you out uh, and empty and throw the ball. Uh, they can line up and, you know, and, and a slot pro formation and run the ball on you. Uh, they like to do a, you know, screen passing game, uh, jet sweep game. So they have a lot of weapons and they utilize them well. Well, defensively, uh, who, what are some of the um, uh, scrappers that uh, we're, we've, we've got to account for tonight? Well, again, I, I think their D line is you know one of the fastest we've seen. Again, I don't think they're the biggest, but I think they're the fastest. Uh, I think they got a veteran linebacker in Halter. Uh, I, I think he's a good player, and, and you know he comes up and he'll hit you hard. So I think if we can get past the D line and get a blocker on Halter and try to find a hole, I think we'll be all right. As Coach Benson used to say, he's a halter, so you know he's got to be right. tough. Well, the fact that Magnolia rolled up 480 rushing yards against Nashville, that must give you some encouragement that you can run the football on them. It does. Uh, I, again, you know that uh, – us and Magnolia have the same style offense, uh, so hopefully we can try to look at their film and see what they did and how they blocked it. Uh, again, we don't have the outside speed that they do, but maybe we can get some things inside the tackles that they got and utilize that. We'll wrap up our visit with Coach Bell following this timeout. 
accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus, professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in De Queen, 870-642-2811. Fresh off their summer lineup of convertible sports cars, for September, Saracen is giving away the king of luxury pickups, Toyota's new Tundra Capstone from Trotter Toyota. The Tundra Capstone is the ultimate in luxurious trucks, and it can be yours just for playing your favorite games at Saracen Casino Resort. Only 40 minutes from Little Rock, Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play and win. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Family problem? Call 800-522-4700. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable and professional service since 1929. Supporting the Dequeen Leopards, it's a Wilkerson Funeral Home. Are you looking for a friendly and reliable bank? Turn to Idabel National Bank, where we offer an array of banking services for all your financial needs. Since 1921, Idabel National Bank has offered a variety of savings and checking accounts, financial planning, and lending services, including consumer, business, and home loans. Here at Idabel National Bank, we take pride in our customer service. So if you're looking for exceptional financial services, make sure to stop by Idabel National Bank on Southeast Washington Street in Idabel. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. DeQueen Auto Group is proud of their full-service body shop. Their body shop manager, Diego DeNova, can assist you with insurance claims, windshield repair, and accessories such as bed liners, side steps, and grill guards. Call DeQueen Auto Group today at 870-642-3604, option 4. They're located across from the dealership next to Subway. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider and more at baptist-health.com. Jay Bunyard back with Coach Richard Bell as we're setting the stage for the 96th meeting between the Leopards and the Scrappers and our visit with Coach Bell presented by San Juan's Automotive Repair. Why waste time and money on, on mechanics who replace parts to rule out the problem when you can have San Juan's diagnose the problem and fix it right the first time? They're located one mile north of the 7071 junction on J.B. Logan Circle. Well, Coach, it's the final non-conference game tonight. How do you feel like this non-conference schedule, Mina, Ashdown, Nashville, has prepared you for the upcoming 5A South slate? Well, I promise you, it, it, it's not a it's not an easy road to hold uh, our non-conference game. So it gives us a very good look going into our our conference because, again, uh, you know as well as I do how tough of a conference we play in, and uh, so our guys, you know, don't play any pushovers uh, before we go play in uh, in the teeth of our uh, conference. So uh, I do think it, it shows our guys a little wake up call on, on what we're going to see. Uh, again, I would like to have some more success this week on it as, as we move into our bye week before we get ready for hope and hope to come out uninjured. Well, Coach, after tonight's contest, as you mentioned, you have an open date as you prepare for the conference opener and hope in two weeks from tonight. How do you plan to approach the bye week next week? Well, uh, again, me – on the bye week is a lot of rest, a lot of uh, you know uh, reflection on what we've done in the past three games, what's worked, uh, what hasn't worked. Uh, you know I don't want to push the guys really, really hard as far as uh, contact, but to me it's a big film week, uh, it's a big conditioning week. I'm going to run a lot more than I would on regular weeks because we don't have a game, but I'm going to hit less, you know, to give the muscles and the joints a little bit of a uh, uh, relief on that part, uh, and hopefully uh, you know get our guys good and healthy and come out firing on all cylinders. Come uh, hope. 
Well, Coach, we're expecting a big, big crowd tonight. It's the home opener, and it is Nashville. And I, I know you want something good to happen early in this game tonight to really get the crowd into the game. Oh, it's always good to have a, a momentum starter or a momentum swing in the game. But I can tell you the honest truth, the, the main thing I want to do is drive the ball down their throat and stop them from driving it down ours. <laughs> Coach, the keys to victory tonight. Again, as always, as, as I say, it's going to be uh, our time of possession, uh, turnovers, and a kicking game. Well, Coach, good luck against the Scrappers tonight. Go Leopards. All right, that's Coach Richard Bell. And our pregame visit with Coach Bell brought to you by San Juan's Automotive Repair, one mile north of the 7071 Junction on J.B. Logan Circle, open 8 to 6, Monday through Friday. Greg, Tony, and I will be back with more pregame from Leopard Stadium following this time out. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member, bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville. Let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties, in fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our prearrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen. We're dedicated to the care of those we serve. It's one of the longest and most storied rivalries in all of Arkansas high school football. It's the 96th meeting all time between the black and gold and black and orange, the DeQueen Leopards and the Nashville Scrappers. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jay Bunyard, live at Leopard Stadium, and we're joined in the booth, as always, by our good friend, colleague, and former Leopard, Greg Revels. And, Greg, talk a little bit about the extra intensity in the locker room before the Nashville game? Well, I'm going to tell you, Jay, uh, and it's been this way for a long, long time. When you the week, the whole Nashville week, there's just an electricity in the air. Everybody wants to play. They want to do well, and it's just different. There's just a different feel when Nashville and the Queen get on the football field together. It certainly is. Let's hook up now, or we're going to try to hook up now with the third member of our broadcast crew. We've had some technical difficulties earlier this evening. Sounds like we got you there, Tony. And uh, 
nice, comfortable 72 degrees out there tonight compared to the last two weeks. You may very well have me, but everybody else may have me too. I can tell whether I'm on the PA or not. Okay. <laughs> but, but it is comfortable. All right. That's uh, Tony Stowers. We'll be checking back in with him from time to time. Got another wireless mic down there. It's kindergarten night here at uh, Leopard Stadium, and the kindergarten kids will be coming on and doing the Pledge of Allegiance in a few minutes, and uh, they've got some field mics down there. It's causing our equipment some interference. But uh, once the game starts, uh, we should – uh, be good to go with Tony down on the field. Well, uh, Greg, uh, uh, Nashville won a squeaker last week over Hope 24-21. They had a scoop and score that was the difference in that ball game. And uh, this is their third 5A South Conference opponent to play in a row after they opened up with Magnolia. Yeah, and Magnolia, uh, you know, did a pretty good job on them as far as run, rushing the ball. They rushed for over 400 yards, wow. I believe. Uh, but Magnolia's got a really good rushing team. Uh, you know, one of the things about last week, you know, we wondered about Hope and, and where they were um, athletically. And I think that uh, uh, we really don't know the answer to that yet because the big difference in the game as far as I'm concerned is the scrappers, Trey Hopkins, did not play. Yep. And I you know, and I think that, that, that made a lot of difference. Even though the, the backup running back they had ran for hundred and twenty five yards, I still think Trey Hopkins probably made would have made a touchdown or maybe even two touchdowns difference in that game. That's a great point. Trey Hopkins will play tonight here. He's listed in the starting lineup, senior running back, and uh, he had one hundred and thirty one yards rushing in that opening loss to Magnolia. Leopards, on the other hand, Greg, uh, still trying to find some identity here early in the season. Yeah, they they really are. And, you know, I think defensively in the first two games, you really can't fault them. Uh, I think they've done a good job defensively. Uh, they've just had to stay out on the field too long. Offensively, we just have not been able to be consistent and not make mistakes to keep the our defense off the field. We want to thank those of you viewing on DQTV. Of course, it's a home game tonight, which means the uh, video will be archived uh, until after the conclusion of tonight's game. But we want to thank our scoreboard show sponsors tonight, uh, starting with Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. They offer personal and business tax preparation, as well as payroll services, elder care assistance, bookkeeping, cash management, and more. From bilingual, experienced, trustworthy, caring, and flexible accounting experts, Fernando Balderas and staff ready to provide you with professional tax services you can count on. And you guys are busy out there right now doing those corporate returns uh, those for extensions. October 15th. Uh, yeah, we sure are. And, uh, you know, also brought to you by Tri-Lakes Realty. Yep. Serving families and individuals in Sevier County, Arkansas, looking for homes, commercial or land properties, investment, real estate, rentals, and event spaces. Visit Tri Lakes Realty on Facebook for available properties for sale in Sevier County or reach out to Tara Morphew, Hannah Cottle, or Paul David Willis for all your real estate needs. And we certainly appreciate Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services and Tri Lakes Realty, our school board sponsors on DQTV, and again, you can uh, uh, watch the archived uh, video of tonight's game with uh, Greg, Tony, and I providing the play-by-play at the conclusion of uh, the game here tonight. It's the Leopards and the Scrappers, and we're about uh, 33 minutes away from kickoff here at Historic Leopard Stadium. It's the home opener, and uh, if the weather holds off, we're expecting a big, big crowd, as is always the case when Nashville and DeQueen collide on the gridiron. We'll be back with more pregame following this three-minute timeout. $1.2 billion. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Well, thanks to the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, you don't have to imagine because we can tell you exactly what's possible. You can fund more than 720,000 scholarships for Arkansas students. Scholarships that have educated teachers, nurses, engineers, welders, computer coders, and more, changing their lives and reshaping their communities in the process. So keep playing, Arkansas, and together we can imagine what happens next. 
Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in Dequeen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators, and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in Dequeen or call them 870-642-2851. Hi, I'm Lori House, CEO of Sevier County Medical Center. I want to take this moment to extend our gratitude to the community for their continued support of our new and greatly needed hospital, to our Board of Governors and Quorum Court, and to our patients and all of those who help pass the hospital sales tax measure. Thank you for your support of Sevier County Medical Center. We are a community-centered health care facility with a goal of ensuring the health and well-being of Sevier County and all of Southwest Arkansas. Thank you for helping us make our community both stronger and healthier. At Warehouser, our trees provide clean air and water, wildlife habitat, recreation, renewable energy, great jobs, and a sustainable supply of wood for the products people use every day. We depend on strong relationships with our communities because without your support, we can't operate. And perhaps most of all, we depend on our diverse and talented people who join our team. We're serious about safety, driven to achieve excellence, and proud of what we do. We offer a wide range of exciting career opportunities for people who are just as passionate about making a difference as we are. First State Bank has been serving our area's farmers for almost 50 years. Poultry loans are just one of the many types of agricultural loans that we offer. We understand the agricultural business because we're local, just like you. Stop by any of our branches and speak with a loan officer to see how we can help you meet your agricultural needs. We also offer livestock, farm equipment, farm service agency, guaranteed, and participation loans. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. First State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Why hold a parade that only goes one block? What in the world is a bathtub race? And how can one town be the training ground for American Pharaoh and the former playground of Al Capone? That's just hot springs being hot springs. Between thermal waters, thoroughbreds, and the world's shortest St. Patrick's Day parade, this town isn't trying to be unique. It just comes naturally. Come experience this slightly unconventional and completely wonderful place called Hot Springs, Arkansas. For more info, visit hotsprings.org. Jay, Greg, and Tony back at Historic Leopard Stadium is the Bristow Custom Metals pregame show. Bristow Custom Metals, they're the Arkansas Razorbacks logo, metal wall art, logo lawn art, and logo fire pits. You can get a quote from them, Bristow Custom Metals, on Facebook. And let's roll right in now to the Leopard Injury Update, brought to you by Simply Chiropractic. Simply Chiropractic in Duquesne and Broken Bow provides one-on-one personalized patient care, both in English and Spanish. Dr. Kenneth Erickson offers light adjustments, pediatric and pregnancy care, pharmaceutical-grade nutrition, and more. Relieve your pain the non-invasive way. Request an appointment today by calling 469-224-0222. I saw Jackson Van Winkle in one of those boots out there. Yeah. Uh, so we're not going to see the – he's two-way starter, fullback, linebacker. We're going to miss him tonight. He he is, and, we you know, we, we – at the end of the game last week, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, we didn't get an exit interview with Coach Bell because he was with, with Ulysses Cotto, who ended up going to the hospital due to dehydration. Uh, super bad cramps actually passed out from the pain. Mm-hmm. And uh, – but he's he's okay and he's going to be playing tonight. Uh, glad glad of that. But Jackson Van Winkle, who's fullback and linebacker for the Leopards, is out tonight. As is uh, Henry Pendelosa, the tackle. Juan Pendelosa. Juan Pendelosa. I'm sorry. Yep, yep. And uh, he, he's going to be out. But we, I'm sorry, Henry Camposano is going to be back this week. Yep. So we get, we have him back. This is the first game he's been able to play this year. So we're glad to have him back, but we do have a couple of starters out. Yep. Henry was our leading tackler in that Waldron scrimmage. So it's, it's great that he's making his season debut here tonight against the Scrappers. Well, that's your injury update brought to you by Simply Chiropractic, Dr. Kenneth Erickson, located just north of of the 7071 Junction in Dequane. We'll be back with tonight's starting lineups. We'll have the keys to victory, opening kickoff, and play-by-play action. Countdown to kickoff, 24 minutes on the Leopard Network, KDQN. We're back in three. 
It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to school spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of Queen, Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Equal housing. Lender. Little Rock is where you'll be amazed by everything that awaits every member of your family. Explore sites like the Little Rock Zoo or hike to the top of Central Arkansas at Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Learn about the world around us at the Museum of Discovery. And at the Central Arkansas Nature Center, you can see alligators up close right in downtown. You can tour the Oval Office at the Clinton Presidential Library and walk in the footsteps of civil rights pioneers at Historic Central High School. One experience and you'll be big on Little Rock. Learn more at LittleRock.com today. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. Trust our award-winning team at RRCU with your mortgage. With RRCU, you can complete an easy application online and get your mortgage in minutes. Simply log on to rrcu.com and apply for your mortgage. From the award-winning mortgage team you can trust at RRCU. Loan approval requests subject to qualifications. Finance options subject to change. Other restrictions may apply. RRCU Equal Housing Lender. NMLS ID 315545. Apply for your mortgage now at rrcu.com. State Representative Deanne Vaught is proud to support the DeQueen Leopards, Ashdown Panthers, Horatio Lions, Foreman Gators, Dirks Outlaws, and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Representative Vaught reminds us that our children are our future. Please continue to support all our area schools. Southwest Arkansas is a great place to live and raise our family. Deanne is proud to represent District 87 in the Arkansas House and proud to support this broadcast for the football fans in our area. Located in the quiet and beautiful part of South Arkansas, Southern Arkansas University offers personalized tour visits, faculty and staff who invest in student success, and a caring campus community. SAU allows you to choose from over 100 degrees in four distinct colleges and the School of Graduate Studies. SAU not only offers a broad range of academic programs, including unique offerings to the state and region, but is the first university south of Little Rock to offer a doctoral degree through the College of Education. Start calling SAU your home today by applying at saumag.edu. Go Mule Riders! It's the Bristow Custom Metals pregame show. Bristow Custom Metals, the top metal fabricators in the Arklatex. And it's time to take a look at tonight's starting lineups, brought to you by Twisted Tines Outfitters. Twisted Tines Outfitters, your hunting, fishing, camping headquarters, located in Dequeen, just north of the 7071 Junction, where you can shop for new hunting rifles, get your gun or bow serviced, and stock up on hunting and fishing essentials, unique home decor, gifts, and jewelry. Stop by Twisted Tines Outfitters and check out their new Dead Air Silencer Shop kiosk or visit them on Facebook for updates, new arrivals, and all things outdoors. Archery season in Arkansas begins September 23rd. Are you ready? We're going to start with the offensive line for the Leopards, Greg, because we have moved some folks around on that offensive line to try to get this running attack moving offensively. The tackles will be Logan Chandler getting his first start of the year. He started uh, several games last year, 6'1", 260, a senior. The other tackle will be Kanan Billingsley, who has started all three games this year, six foot two ten. Now, guards uh, Esteban Alvarez back, number 76, six foot two ten. Jeremiah Cotto back at the other guard, 5'9", 210, just a sophomore. And starting at center tonight will be Darion Henderson, 6'2", 300, just a sophomore, getting a start over the football tonight. Well, uh, very important for the Leopards to, to move the uh, defensive line out to get that start on that offense. Yep. The wideouts will be Lance Wise, 170, a junior, and Trent Matthews, 175, a junior. In the Leopard offensive backfield, out of that flex bone, it'll be uh, anchored by the quarterback, Cole Binkley, 
Uh, 5'11", 175, a junior. The fullback tonight with Jackson Van Winkle out will be Gareth Quintero. He's a senior, number 42. And the slot backs will be Donovan Esther, the speedster, 165-pound senior, and Ulysses Cotto, 170-pound junior. That's the starting lineup offensively for the Leopards. For the Scrappers, they'll go with four wideouts. Number one, Jacob uh, Goss. Uh, number seven, Jamarion Conway. He's a recruit from uh, Murfreesboro, Greg. Picked him up from over there. Mm. Other wideouts will be Kaysen Morgan, number 10, and number 39, Landon uh, Arbutnot. And the uh, backfield, uh, Carson Chambers. We get to see another sophomore signal caller. Uh, the, the young man from Mina, Dax uh, McMillan, did a good job two weeks ago. Leopards really didn't put any pressure on McMillan, but uh, they need to get a little pressure on this sophomore tonight, Carson Chambers. Yeah, and I think he's going to be a little more mobile too, Jay. Yep. The running back, the ever-dangerous Trey Hopkins, uh, rushed for over 1,300 yards, 19 touchdowns, a year ago, he had uh, 131 yards in the opener against Magnolia, set out last week in the three-point win over Hope. And uh, as we mentioned, the quarterback, the sophomore, Carson Chambers. Now, across that big scrapper offensive line, the tackles, number 53, Remington Miller at 190, and Kaysen Willard, three-year starter, 6'2", 265. The right guard is Larry Hernandez, a 5'9", 235-pound senior, and Jamison McIntosh, a 275-pound sophomore. In the center will be the dependable Tyler Brown, number 55, 5'10", 165. He's a senior. Those are your starting lineups tonight, brought to you by Twisted Tines Outfitters, just north of the 7071 Junction. Did Ty have any luck uh, hunting that elk out in Colorado? You know, as far as I know, no. Oh, But I didn't hear the last couple of days. Okay. So. He may have. He may have. Hopefully, his luck got a little better the last couple of days. We appreciate Twisted Times Outfitters bringing you the starting lineups, and don't forget, archery season begins September twenty third, and Twisted Times Outfitters has everything that you need to be ready. Countdown to kickoff: sixteen minutes on the Leopard Network KDQN. We'll talk about the keys to victory. We'll have opening kickoff and play by play action following this three minute timeout. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown Dequeen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology, meaning faster recovery times and better outcomes than conventional surgery. We're excited to offer the same level of care, expertise, and systems found at larger health care centers around the country. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, HowardMemorial.com or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet with APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit Gentry Chevy Inc or check them out on Facebook. Are you looking for a friendly and reliable bank? Turn to Idabel National Bank, where we offer an array of banking services for all your financial needs. Since 1921, Idabel National Bank has offered a variety of savings and checking accounts, financial planning, and lending services, including consumer, business, and home loans. Here at Idabel National Bank, we take pride in our customer service. So if you're looking for exceptional financial services, make sure to stop by Idabel National Bank on Southeast Washington Street in Idabel. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Fun and Learn Land Preschool and Daycare in Sevier County Developmental Center is located at 151 College Drive in DeQueen. Every classroom has a low child-to-staff ratio, which means your child will receive more one-on-one interaction with teachers. Every classroom has daily lesson plans and schedules that help prepare children for kindergarten. For more information on programs at Fun and Learn Land Preschool and Daycare and Sevier County Developmental Center, contact Betty Edwards at 584-3416, extension 2. Money is never an easy topic to talk about, but it is a must when you have kids. The Arkansas Brighter Future 529 plan makes saving for college or trade school quick and effortless, and all contributions are state tax deductible. Brighter Futures start today. Visit BrighterFutureDirect529.com. To learn more about the Arkansas 529 plan, its investments, objectives, risks, and costs, read the official statement at BrighterFutureDirect529.com. Paid for by the Arkansas Section 529 Plan Review Committee. These last few months have been difficult for us all. Life isn't the same. But Eastern Arkansas and the Arkansas Delta Byways region is ready to welcome visitors. Our partner attractions are working hard to make sure visitors stay safe. Many attractions have modified schedules, so make sure to check websites or call before visiting. Check out our new and improved website at deltabyways.com. Welcome back. We are open for business. All we need is you. This ad paid with state and regional funds. Here at First State Bank, we've been serving the area since 1973. We're local, just like you, and being local means we make local decisions too. We're here to serve you quickly so you can spend your time wisely and not in line. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. Bank at home with us at First State Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Did you know that Weyerhaeuser began operating in Arkansas in 1956 and currently employs 655 Arkansans? 100% of our 1.2 million acres of timberland are certified to sustainable forestry standards. And 100% of the fiber in our wood products are certified to the SFI Fiber Sourcing Standard. We've been developing new building products and solutions for more than 100 years, carrying on tradition of providing for our families and neighbors with products that we can be proud of. Jay and Greg back at Historic Leopard Stadium as we're setting the stage for the 96th meeting all time between these two old rivals, DeQueen and Nashville, an old rivalry that dates all the way back to 1911, 112 years ago. Uh, the Nashville leads the all-time series with 67 victories. The Leopards have claimed 26 wins, and there have been two ties over the decades. Now, Greg, there have been some big upsets in this rivalry over the years, but if the Leopards could pull one off tonight, it would be one of the biggest ones. I think it probably would be one of the biggest ones of all time, Jay. Uh, you know, the Scrappers are heavily favored, but, you know, in this game, there have been a lot of times when the favored team didn't come out on top. Right. Last DeQueen victory came here in Leopard Stadium back in 2017 when her and her Ernie 
put on a show in a thrilling 49-42 win. A hunter rushed for 292 yards, four touchdowns. He had a 40-yard pick six, and he accounted for 394 all-purpose yards as he placed the leopard, or as he paced the leopards to that memorable victory uh, back in 2017. So leopards would like to uh, uh, get back in the win column against the scrappers here tonight. Well, let's talk about tonight's keys to victory. Greg, brought to you by SNC Tire Shop Number Two. S&C Tire Shop Number 2, offering new and used tires for every make and model from brands you trust, like Michelin, BF Goodrich, Pirelli, Bridgestone, Goodyear, and others. If they don't have it, they can order it. S&C Tire Shop Number 2 also offers tire and brake repair, and they are the only tire shop in the area open late, seven days a week. Store hours Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., and Sundays, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., you can find them at 116 South Lakeside Drive in the Queen. Bilingual services are available. Still having some problems uh, with our field, Mike, getting some interference with something here. So, Greg, I'll start out and give you a chance to catch your breath okay. after reading the okay. spot there. Uh, a couple of things, I think. Uh, Nashville, uh, their passing game, uh, they like to do a lot of two-on-two, three-on-three, one-on-one scenarios where they – just kind of flip the tunnel screen out in the left flat or right flat and uh, count on their athletes to break a tackle. And I know Keith Jackson used to always call it yaks. Uh, a lot of people say it's yards after catch. Mm-hmm. He used to say yards after contact. Right. And the Leopards, when they make that contact, they're going to have to be sure tacklers tonight on these Nashville wide receivers in order to keep them in check. Otherwise, they'll take it to the house in a hurry. Yep. And uh, Trey Hopkins – you got to kind of keep him under control as well. You just can't let him run wild. Yeah. Yep. And, 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 you know, and I talked to Tony about this before the game. We actually uh, were talking about the keys to victory. I'm going to tell you mine first. Mine is we've got to do better on third down conversions. Year to date, we're, we're four out of 17, which is less than 25%. we got to get that up to 50%. Right. And, and we get that there, that's going to be beneficial to us, and it's going to lead into what Tony's were. Tony's Tony's key to victory is we need three 10 to 12 play drives in this game. Mm-hmm. And if we do that, that's going to bode well from us from a mistake standpoint, from a penalty standpoint. It's also going to keep their offense off the field and won't let them score. Yep, that's what our offense is designed to do, three to four yards of carry and just control the clock, move those chains, and that just hasn't happened through the first two games tonight. Hopefully the Leopards can buck that trend here against the Scrappers. The co-captains are meeting out at the center of the field for the coin toss tonight. For the Leopards, number 62, uh, that's uh, Logan Chandler. Also number 75, that's Kanan Billingsley. And number 76, Esteban Alvarez. The Leopards in their home black uh, with gold numerals, black helmets with the Leopard logo on each side. The Scrappers will be in their road white uh, with orange numerals and, of course, their uh, uh, famous pumpkin head helmets that uh, they like to wear over there. So the officials are meeting out for the coin toss. And uh, that's your keys to victory tonight, brought to you by S&C Tire Shop number two. You can find them uh, on Lakeside Drive, just a little bit south of the red light there. And they're open late and open seven days a week for your tire service. Uh, You can uh, find them 116 South Lakeside Drive. They're bilingual, and they're open uh, Monday through Saturday, 8 to 7, and Sundays, 8 to to three. That's S and T Tire Shop number two. And we'll be back to take a look or uh, be back uh, for the opening kickoff and play by play action between the Leopards and the Scrappers following this three minute timeout. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top notch corporate citizen, employing over fourteen hundred employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties. In fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. (laughs) 
and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe in a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. Is a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> the agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. We all have our traditions. From Friday Night Lights to Saturday Morning Hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange. Because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. We can sum up McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. Crispy, but also juicy and tender. Okay, it's crispy, juicy, tender. All one word. But then, also pickle. Oh, and potato bun, which is two words. Okay, we can't sum up our new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. So, you'll just have to try it to understand it. Order ahead on the McDonald's app at participating McDonald's. Tonight's opening kickoff brought to you by DeQueen Self Storage. Because everyone needs a little space sometimes, DeQueen Self Storage West offers a variety of self storage units ranging in size from 5x10 to 10x10, 10x15, and 10x20 with easy access off Colin Ray Drive. Also, coming soon is their brand new location, DeQueen Self Storage North, set to open in September, consisting of 150 units, 10x15 and 10x20 with some of those being climate controlled. Pre-order now for the north location, which is located at 180 Old Highway 71 in Dequeen. You can do that by going online at www.dequeenstorage.com or contact Brenda Sullivan at 870-582-1846 for more info. The Leopards will receive to start this football game. They'll be moving toward the south goal here in the opening quarter. That's right to left from our vantage point here in the press box. Back deep is Luke Pierce standing at the five-yard line. He'll be flanked by Larry Labra to his left and Donovan Esther to his right. Teeing up the football for the Scrappers will be Jose Perez, and the 96th meeting between Nashville and DeQueen is underway. It'll be taken... At the 30, makes uh, breaks one tackle across the 37-yard line up to about the 38-yard line will be Donovan Esther, and the Leopards will start with good field position. They're on 38. Good job by Luke Pierce there catching the ball. and That was Luke on the catch? Yeah, it okay. was. Right. So nice kickoff return by Luke Pierce, and the Leopards will start at their 37-yard line. They'll bring uh, Trenton Matthews split out to the left. Flex bone set behind Cole Binkley. He'll turn, hands to Esther, who'll try the right side, hit and dropped in the backfield. Donovan's going to lose a yard on first down. It'll bring up second down and 11. Not the kind of start that you want uh, here in the uh, first play from scrimmage. Leopard's looking at second down and 11 from their 36-yard line. Cole Binkley runs back and forth uh, to the sidelines after every play to get the next play call from his father, the offensive coordinator, Philip Binkley. Leopards will stay in the flex bone on this second and 11, and they'll run the option left. Binkley's going to keep around the left side. He'll dive forward out to the 39-yard line. Cole will pick up about three, where it's going to bring up third down and about seven. Just underway here. 11 minutes to go, opening quarter. The Leopards coming off their 37, now looking at a third and eight from their 39-yard line. They need to get up to the Nashville or to the DeQueen 47 to move the chains and keep the drive alive. 
Flex bone set. Quintero is the fullback. They'll run the option left again. Binkley will pitch. It's fumbled back inside the 30. Chasing it down will be Ulysses Cotto, but that's going to be a big loss. Uh, let's see where they spot it. Back at about the 33-yard line, but Ulysses just fortunate to hang on. No, they're going to mark it all the way back to the 28-yard line. So that's going to be a loss of 11 yards for Cotto. And the Leopard offense will go three and out again, not achieving one of Greg's keys to victory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back in punt formation will be Munoz. It's a low snap, but he'll get a foot into it, and it's going to bounce across midfield into Nashville territory where it'll be downed at the Nashville 40-yard line. So with 9.52 to go in the opening quarter, we have no score, but Nashville will begin first and 10 at their own 40-yard line. Leopard football proudly brought to you tonight by the Queen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. Well, first and 10 Nashville, they'll have twins to the right and twins to the left, and Hopkins the long setback behind the sophomore signal caller, Carson Chambers. Chambers is in the pistol. Takes a snap. Inside handoff to Hopkins. Bounces outside to his right. 45 up to about the 49-yard line for nine yards. It's going to bring up second down and one for Nashville, and Hopkins gets off to a good start. Yeah, brought down there by Aparicio and a, and a host of other Leopards. Second down in the yard. Playbook wide open here for Nashville at their own 49-yard line. Dixon checks in now. They're going to run the jet sweep to Conway coming right. He's at midfield, the Leopard 40, and knocked out of bounds at about the 30. They're going to mark him down at the 29-yard line. So that's a pickup of, wow, 22 yards, and that'll be enough for another Nashville first down. But we may have a penalty flag, Greg. Yeah, we do. Okay, that one's coming back. I believe it was a hold. Okay, so the Leopards get a break there. That's going to wipe out that 22-yard run. They're going to mark it off from the spot of the foul, which was the DeQueen 49-yard line. So it's a pickup of two for Conway on that jet sweep. And then a 10-yard penalty against Nashville. So wipe that first down off the board. Now the Scrappers, second down at about nine. At, back at their own 41-yard line. Chambers in the pistol. Hopkins, the lone set back behind him. Play action. Flips it out to the left flat, complete for the first down across the midfield stripe as he finds number one, Jacob Goss, and that'll be a pickup of 13 yards and the first first down of the night for Nashville. At the DeQueen 46, Nashville goes fast. It's a jet sweep to Goss coming right. Going to be hit at the 45, fighting for yardage, and he'll push the pile forward to about the 42-yard line for a pickup of four on that jet sweep. Hit first by Luke Pierce there, and just to, uh, then the rest of the Leopards just finished him off there, but not until he picked up five yards, four yards. Yeah, it looks like five. They gave him a pretty good spot, but he was fighting for every square inch. Inside handoff to Hopkins now. He has a hole. Bounces outside to the 35, the 30. Down the far sidelines to the 20. Leopards finally corralling, and they'll knock him uh, out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. So that's going to be a pickup of 30 yards for Trey Hopkins on that carry, and that'll be another Scrapper first down as Nashville will go fast again. Chambers in the pistol. Hands off to Dixon running last. Spins at the 10. He's going to get down to about the seven-yard line before he's shoved back by black shirts. And it's going to bring up second down and about two for a first down, about seven for a touchdown. Yeah, Jake Martin there on the tackle. The previous play, Luke Pierce brought Hopkins down, but not till after he made a great run. Second down and two, inside handoff to the five, and they'll finally stack him up down around the two-yard line, the ball carrier that time. 
was Hopkins, and he'll have enough for the Nashville first down, three carries, 44 yards for Hopkins here in the early going. First and goal, Nashville, they go quick, and the inside handoff of the easy touchdown, Trey Hopkins, and the Scrappers draw first blood with 7.36 to go in the uh, opening quarter. Greg, that was an impressive 60-yard drive for Nashville. Yeah, and it didn't take them long to get there, Jay. Yep, took two minutes and uh, 14 seconds. Which is what we talked about in the pregame, about us having those extended play drives so we could. Yep. Jose Perez on to attempt the extra point. Right-footed soccer-style kicker puts it up and puts it through. And with 7.36 to go opening quarter, it's Nashville 7, DeQueen nothing. Back for the kickoff in one minute. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown DeQueen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. For more than 150 years, Lyon College has provided endless opportunities for Arkansas students to contribute, create, and lead in our communities. Rooted in faith, Lyon combines a traditional education with a real-world experience in a beautiful small-town setting. As a new member of NCAA Division III, we're committed to providing opportunities for student-athletes to excel in the classroom and on the field. For more information on the Lyon College experience, visit lyon.edu. Lyon College, a better world starting in Arkansas. Donovan Esther will take the kickoff for the Leopards at the 15-yard line, and he'll return to the 29-yard line where he's finally upended by scrappers. And so that's where DeQueen will begin their second offensive possession of the night at the 729 mark in the opening quarter. Well, Greg Revels had to leave on a on an emergency, and we're pleased to welcome into the booth here Jared Fannin. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jay. Glad to be here. Now, how's that administration job? working out for you it's something new every day i can promise you that <laughs> first and 10 leopards at the 29 yard line he land off to esther coming right and the nice little pick up there out to about the 32 yard line of course jared fadden the coach of the leopard football team a year ago and that's the way the flex bone's supposed to work yeah, right that's, there that's supposed to work right there you know around power don't there on the on the right side and got a good three yard game just like that and get the clock running yep now we just got to move that chain. So we were talking in the pregame, Coach, uh, in the third down conversions this year, like four of 17, just not going to get it done. Not going to get it done. You know, that's, that's huge. All right. Binkley has them set at the 32. The fullback, Quintero, gets the call, and he's just swarmed by white shirts at the line of scrimmage. So that's going to bring up third down and seven. And, uh, Coach, we made some changes in the offensive line this week just to try to get a little bit of a surge with this running game. Is this we really struggled in the first two? Yeah, games. Yeah, I talked to Coach Bell some this week, and you know they're going to try to do some uh, different things up front. Just try to uh, get something going. Uh, you know, try to get that running game going because that's what this offense is built around. Obviously, is is the run game. Yeah, and it's so important because the defense needs a break every now and then. So you got to move the ball, move the chains to right. You, let them rest up. Yeah, and then plus they'll keep that uh, opposing team offense off the field as well. That's exactly right. Third down and seven. Leopards need to get up to the thirty-nine to move the chains, keep the drive alive. And Binkley wants to throw. Flips it out in the left flat. Complete 30, 35, 40, 40. Five up to the 46-yard line. We got a flag on the play. Yeah, we're going to have to sort that out back at the 35-yard line. Donovan Esther, the receiver, and if the play stands, it's a 14-yard pickup and a first down, but, uh, Coach, I believe that one's coming back. Yeah, it's, it's thrown in the uh, area of holding uh, out here, but, uh, you know, Leopards went in pistol that time, ran bubble out here to Donovan, and a great, a great play, great pickup right there. So they're talking it over with the Nashville captain, and of course they'll take this. The line of or the spot of the foul was the 35 yard. So we'll give uh, uh, three yards on that reception from Cole Binkley to Donovan Esther. Then a 10 yard penalty marked off against the Leopards. 
pick uh, not um, no first down on the play, and that's going to move it back to the 25 yard line where it's going to bring up third down and 14. That was a tough break for the Leopards. It's where we, you know, offensively, you don't want to be behind the chains. Leopards will bring two split out to the left, one to the right as Binkley takes a snap. He's going to look and he's going to be chased out of the pocket to the right. And he's going to be sacked back inside the well, – all the way back inside the – did he get rid of he it? Got rid of, got rid of, got out of the pocket, got rid of. Look at they're trying to set up a screen on the right and uh, got pressured and just had to throw it away. My glass is already uh, fogging up over here. <laughs> they got a new uh, air conditioner up here, uh, air conditioner unit for the press box. It's nice and cool up here, but with it. 70-something degrees outside. The windows are already fogging up here in the press box. High snap, but Munoz will get a foot into it, and it's going to take a big leopard roll on this turf all the way down to about the 35-yard line. Punter's got to love that turf, Coach. Yeah, great cut right there. You hit, got a roll, allowed your team to get down and cover. So great job right there by the punt team. So with 520 to go in the opening quarter, Nashville will send their offense Back out on the field, they'll start at their 35-yard line, and Nashville leads it 7 to nothing. Scrappers move 60 yards in eight plays on their first series of the night, took 216 off the clock. And Carson Chambers, the sophomore signal caller, back in there. Trey Hopkins, the running back, he's going to flip it out complete in the right flat for short yardage. Leopards played that. Very well defensively, Coach. Great job right there by Cotto coming up from the safety position. Uh, run, run a uh, tunnel screen out here, the right receiver, and great job filling the alley there by Cotto. Right, that was Mason, number 29, I believe, on the catch. Mason Nelson. It's going to be a pickup of about four yards. The scrappers will go fast. Chambers going to roll the pocket to his left and keep. 40, 45, has the first down, and he steps out of bounds on the far side of the field at the 47-yard line. So not only does Chambers have a good arm coach, he pitched some in baseball uh, or, you know, back in the spring as a freshman. Uh, he's got some good wheels underneath yeah, him, too. Yeah, you know, that's just another dynamic you got to defend uh, with this quarterback. Fourth first down of the first half for Nashville. And Chambers, they'll run the uh, handoff to Hopkins, and the Leopards will swarm him in the backfield. Trey is going to. Keep those strong feet chopping and turning, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. But, boy, somebody got great penetration yeah, that time. Great coach. job by Geronimo Valera there. Got penetration in the backfield and, and stopped Hopkins for a minimal gain. Second down and 10. Hopkins will dry his hands on the back of Carson Chambers' towel, and Chambers wants to throw, and it's going to be caught, but again for short yardage. Leopard defense really throwing some licks out there. That was number six on the reception for Nashville, but again, for very short yardage, about five yards maybe. Yeah, great job again by Cotto coming, filling alley on that, uh, you know, they just run a little spot, hitch pass there to the slot receiver, and Cotto did a great job. Going to bring up third down in about five, and they're going to run the jet sweep to Conway coming left, and he's going to be knocked off his feet at about the 46-yard line. That's a pickup of only two. And, boy, the uh, Leopard defense showing some life on this particular series. Yeah, great job there by Jonathan Bahina, corner, you know, setting the edge, coming up and, and breaking down, making a great open field tackle to get us at fourth down. Yep, need to stop here and get off the field. Fourth down and about three. Chambers staggers a snap count, and I believe they drew us into the neutral zone. Yep, draw us off sides. It's going to add five yards, and we'll be a first down. Tough break. Uh, there. Yeah, you're thinking that's what, what you're thinking in that position is, you know, fourth and three, they're going to try to draw us offside. So, you know, got to be disciplined. And as coaches say, you got to hold your water. So that's going to bring up another first and 10 for Nashville, their fifth of the night at the DeQueen 40 yard line on the five yard penalty. They'll bring a man in motion. Chambers wants to throw. Flushed out of the pocket to his right, hit as he throws. And it's going to be knocked away incomplete at the 25-yard line. Great defensive play by Cotto. Yeah, Lucas Cotto, again, we've said his uh, name a number of times already here in this uh, first quarter. Uh, great coverage right there and, uh, you know, knocking the ball down there. Going to bring up second down and 10. Leopard's got a little pressure that time on Chambers. Flushed him out of the pocket. 
Yeah, I think that's what you got to do to him. You want to get him on the move. Second down and 10 at the 41. Chambers takes a snap, going to flip it out in the right flat. It's going to be incomplete, too tall for his intended receiver, Khalil Kennedy. And after connecting on his first three passes of the night, Coach, Carson Chambers uh, misses his last two. Yeah, got some pressure on him on the play before, and then he just overshot uh, there on the bubble there. A big third and ten right here. Isn't it amazing how a little pressure on defense can help things out? Third and ten from the 41. Chambers looks to the sidelines to get the play from Coach Velarvich. They're changing the play now as Hopkins will line up behind or beside Chambers. And Trey, they're going to fake to to Hopkins. And Carson takes off up the middle for good yardage. He's going to have the first down all the way down to the 25-yard line. Yeah, runner read option right there. You know, quarterback's reading what that uh, end does. The end takes Hopkins, and he's keeping it. Uh, and then right up the middle for a first down. Pickup of 16 yards, and that's the sixth first down of the opening quarter for Nashville. Approaching the uh, 253 to go in the opening quarter, Nashville on top, 7 to nothing. Carson Chambers in the pistol. First and 10 at the DeQueen 25. Here comes Hopkins, 25. Oh, he's built it hard and knocked down from behind. He did a good job just hanging on to the football that time. Yeah, great job right there by Fernando Aprecio coming up on the tackle. Hard hit. Uh, got second down here. Well, on the first drive, Hopkins had four carries for 46 yards, but this drive only two carries for four yards. Here he comes again, picks his way across the 20, and uh, he's still fighting for yardage inside the 15. He'll have the first down at about the 12-yard line. Yeah, uh, Luke Pierce and Jake Martin coming up on that tackle there. Again, uh, Coach Flores is going uh, back to the run game to, to Hopkins when they get down here in the red zone. First and 10 Nashville at the 12-yard line, and we're going to have a timeout on the field. We'll take one, two with 2.18 to go in the opening quarter. Nashville driving, and they lead 7 to nothing. We're back in 30 seconds. DeQueen Auto Group has a full line of rental vehicles to suit any need. They carry full-size cars, minivans, SUVs, trucks, and passenger vans. Their roomy 12 and 15 passenger vans are perfect for family and church trips or sporting events. They also have reasonable price vehicles for insurance claims. Call their rental department at DeQueen Auto Group, 870-642-3604, option 6 for details. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. Jay and uh, Coach Jared Fannin back at uh, Leopard Stadium, uh, Nashville driving, and that's probably a pretty good timeout there, Coach, just to kind of let us catch our breath. Yeah, it's a good timeout. You know, they, you know, Nashville's hurry up, uh, play fast, so it is an opportunity to catch our breath, let Coach Bell talk to the defense, kind of get something to set up here. First and 10, Nashville at the DeQueen 12-yard line. Carson Chambers in the pistol, and Hopkins – or is that number 20 Dixon back in there now? I believe that's 20. 20. Yep. Hunter Dixon, the sophomore. And Dixon's going to get the call. Running right, cuts up field at the 10, has his feet chopped out from under him at about the three-yard line. But that's going to be a pickup of nine yards and going to bring up second down and one. Lissa's is Coda on the shoestring tackle there. That's we're going with a lot of motion. You know, call that a lot of eye candy, trying to get those linebackers' eyes different places. Straight ahead to Dixon. Ooh, he is belted after maybe a yard down to the two. Yeah, great job coming up, filling right there. And they call it a touchdown. Oh, did he get? I thought he was down. Wow, okay. Wow. Maybe I was looking at the uh, wrong player there. But uh, anyway, they give Nashville the three-yard touchdown. I suppose that was Tucker Dixon. The official on the far sideline, he – he signaled touchdown. I thought he was tackled at about the two. But anyway, Jose Perez on to attempt the extra point. And the kick is good. So with a minute 50 to go opening quarter, Nashville extends the lead to 14 to nothing. We're back in one minute. 
Banking locally does a lot for your community. Diamond Bank is a family-owned community bank that makes all of our decisions locally. With Diamond Bank's new rewards checking accounts, we pay you to bank with us. Earn a high interest rate or get cash back every month. Stop by one of our 15 convenient locations today and discover the Diamond Bank difference. Or visit us online at www.diamond.bank. Diamond Bank, 404 East Collin Ray Drive in Queen. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. I love my church family. At the D Queen Church of Christ, we are a community of Jesus followers. We are not a group of perfect people, but our glory is in the cross of Jesus Christ and the saving power of His grace. Our church family has a relaxed nature with a passion for sharing Jesus. We would love to see you this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Leopards bobble the kickoff at the 12-yard line, and Donovan Esther falls on it to avoid disaster there. But, uh, man, oh, man, you uh, had to start at your own 12-yard line. Yeah, you know, catch it there, get you some yards, get the offense, uh, you know, kind of we're backed up now. So get the offense, get the run game going right here, and we need us some clock. Nashville moved 65 yards in 12 plays, took 340 off the clock. Score coming on a three-yard run by Tucker Dixon, I think. My window's kind of fogging yeah. up over here on that end of the see. field. So, uh, But we got a good air conditioner unit working here in the press box. All right, Binkley in the pistol from the 12-yard line takes a snap. He's going to follow the fullback. He has good yardage across the 20, shoved out of bounds with a little authority over there at about the 22-yard line. That might be enough for a first down depending on the spot. Great job right there by Binkley. Uh, Read the end, end, came down, took the fullback. Uh, Binkley keeps around the edge for the first down. First down. First down of the night for the Leopards on the 10-yard keeper by Binkley. And uh, with a little bit of a sigh of relief there is uh, just a fresh set of downs. That's a good feeling. Fresh set of downs <laughs> kind of get you on the other side of the 20 and it'll eat up some more clock. First and 10 Leopards at the 22. They'll stay uh, in the flex bone set here. Binkley brings a man in motion. Now Binkley is going to try to keep again. This time Nashville defends it better at about the line of scrimmage. We'll call it to no gain, second down and 10. Ho oh, host of scrappers there on the tackle. Uh, the, the Queen standing in the pistol set. This uh, set. Got some great yards on that first uh, play, so uh, going to stick with the pistol right here. Inside, well, we're approaching the one-minute mark here of the opening quarter. Nashville leading 14 to nothing in the 96th meeting between these two old rivals. Leopards just picked up a first down a moment ago, but now looking at second down and 10 at their own 22-yard line. In the pistol is Binkley. He wants to throw the football. And it's going to be caught for good yardage across the 40, down the far sidelines across midfield. Cotto carries it all the way to the Nashville 46-yard line. Great job right there, offense. Great pass right there by Cole Cotto. Great uh, catch and run for the big game. Pick up of 32 yards from Binkley to Cotto, and the Leopards on the move. First and 10 at the Nashville 47-yard line. Cole does a lot of running between plays, doesn't he, Coach? He does a lot of running. Again, he gives <laughs> uh, offense quarter at Coach Binkley an opportunity to tell him some things and uh, you know make sure everyone's on the right page. That's a heck of a play there by Binkley and Cotto. From the 47, here comes the second man through, Luke Pierce, and he'll pound it down to about the 40. I'm going to get a really good spot. thought he got up to the 45, but they're going to put it down at the 46. So give Luke – one yard on that play, second down and nine. Went double tight bone right there. Got two tight ends set. Uh, bone, you know, just hand up blast right there to Pierce. And uh, that's going to take us to the second quarter here, Jay. First quarter in the books at Leopard Stadium. Nashville leads it 14 to nothing. We're back in one minute. 
The love of football defines fall weekends and in many homes, our families. But it's a demanding sport that can cause injury. That's why UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is on sidelines and in locker rooms for high schools and colleges across the state, ready to care for athletes with clinics in Central and Northwest Arkansas. UAMS Health, official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics and future Razorbacks all over Arkansas. Learn more at UAMS.health slash team. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology led by our experienced surgeons, Dr. Bertrand Fongi and Dr. Mark Sutherland. Our surgeons now have access to state-of-the-art equipment for hernia repair, colon resections, gallbladder removal, and appendectomies. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. The second quarter tonight presented by Rise and Shine Cafe in Granis. If you're looking for good old-fashioned southern home cooking, there's no place better than Rise and Shine Cafe in Granis. They offer a variety of breakfast, lunch, and dinner items in a very clean, cozy atmosphere with farmhouse decor and friendly hometown service. Rise and Shine Cafe in Granis now offers flavorful ice coffees. Add whipped cream for a refreshing start. That's Rise and Shine Cafe in Granis, bringing you the second quarter. Well, the Leopards on the move. This drive began at their 12-yard line, and they have a second and nine at the Nashville 46. Binkley in the pistol, takes a snap, handoff straight ahead. Esther breaks the line of scrimmage momentarily, and he'll get across the 45 down to about the 43-yard line for a pickup of three. It's going to bring up third and six, but coach, you got to figure we're in four down territory. Yeah, we're definitely in four down territory right there. Great job uh, by Donovan. Uh, ran power there off the right side. And, and you know, like you said, guys, in uh, third and manageable, and you are thinking the two down territory to get the first here. All right. Cole Binkley returns to the huddle after getting instructions from his father, offensive coordinator Philip Binkley. Leopards third and six at the Nashville 43 yard line. And this time, Nashville's going to swarm Binkley in the backfield for a loss as someone came uh, unblocked that time and uh, going to put it down at the 45-yard line for a loss of two. Yeah, I had miss, miss assignment up front, and, uh, you know, as soon as Donovan uh, received the handoff, they had him in the backfield. So the punt unit is now coming onto the field. Yep, you were in down territory, but when you lose two there, that kind of changes the <laughs> – Thought Change process. Process. Yeah. Dropping back deep, uh, the scrappers awaiting this punt will be Conway. Munoz, high snap, but he'll get a foot into it. It's a low kick, and uh, it'll be ta- it'll go out of bounds at the 34 yard line. So that's where they'll spot it with 10:36 to go in the half. Nashville will begin their third drive of their own. 34-yard line. Well, Coach, that was an impressive drive for the Leopards, and it let them let the defense rest a little bit. Yeah, great job uh, by the Leopards. Ran some time on the clock and uh, getting picked up some uh, great yards. And, again, like you said, allowed the defense to get a rest over there. They need a turnover right here. Yeah, turnover down here would be huge. First and 10, Nashville at their 34. Chambers has gone all the way at quarterback. Here comes Hopkins running left. He's going to get across the 35, but, boy, the Leopard's really keying on him tonight, Coach. Yeah, he's, they're going to key on him. You know, he's their, he's their number one running back. And uh, didn't know really how much he's going to play tonight. You know, he's been hurt, but uh, he seems to be running well. But uh, great job right there by defense. Picks up three, second down and seven at the 37-yard line. Chambers in the pistol. Here comes Hopkins again right up the middle, and he's across the 40. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down as they're going to put him down at the 43-yard line. So a pickup of six and going to bring up third and one. Henry Camazzo on the uh, tackle there. Nice to have him back in the lineup. He's a leading tackler in the Waldron scrimmage. Set out the first two weeks, but ready to play here tonight. Our big third and one coming up. As Coach said, you got to hold your water here, defensive line. Chambers in the pistol. Takes a snap, straight ahead handoff to Dixon. He pops into the secondary to midfield. Look out, across the 30, finally hauled down at about the 27-yard line. Wow, it's going to be a pickup of 
34 yards for Tucker Dixon, and that's going to move the chains for Nashville. They're eighth first down of the half. Yeah, Nashville just ran a, a blast right there. Uh, linebacker filled the hole. Uh, running back broke the tackle and then allowed them to have a big gain there. From the DeQueen 26, Chambers in the pistol, play action, fires. The receiver catches it on a knee. That's number 82 on the reception. Uh, going to be Jordan Jones. And that's going to be a pickup of only about four yards as he caught the ball with a knee on the ground. Cotto there to make sure he didn't go anywhere. Yeah, ran RPO there, and he slipped. Second and six, play or he's RPO, and there goes the quarterback, Chambers. 10-5, touchdown, Nashville. 23-yard scamper right up the middle. He's pretty potent on that uh, RPO there, Coach. Yeah, same play they ran a while ago. They run a power read right there, and, uh, you know, again, he's reading that in, then takes the back, and then he, uh, he keeps it at the middle for the score. But we do have a flag on the far side of the field here, Jay. All right, looks like the score is going to count as the officials talking about it. That's an impressive 66-yard drive for Nashville. They've now moved 60 yards, 65 yards, and 66 yards. They're still talking it over over there. He's talking to Coach Volarovich. wonder if it'll be assessed on the kickoff is how they'll handle that. Well, the official coming over now to perhaps tell us something. He may run all the way over here and talk <laughs> with Coach Bell. Okay. Well, it looks That's, like the offense is coming back on the field for Nashville. Okay. I'm not sure what's well, going on. We don't know what's going on. That official looks like he's been through the wars. It takes him a while or one run from one side. I'm going to say they were asking Coach Blarge if he wanted to take the penalty on the kickoff for the PAT. Okay, makes sense. So they're going to line up and kick the extra point here. Nashville showing some big play capability that time. 66 yards, only four plays. Jose Perez. Well, they're, they're lined up for going for two. Line up, go for two here. All right, Chambers. Has them set. They're going to run the, the inside handoff to Hopkins, and he plows into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So with 9-10 to go in the first half, Nashville extends the lead to 22 to nothing. We'll be back for the kickoff after this 30-second break. Trust our award-winning team at RRCU with your mortgage. With RRCU, you can complete an easy application online and get your mortgage in minutes. Simply log on to rrcu.com and apply for your mortgage. From the award-winning mortgage team you can trust at RRCU. Loan approval requests subject to qualifications. Finance options subject to change. Other restrictions may apply. RRCU Equal Housing Lender. NMLS ID 315545. Apply for your mortgage now at rrcu.com. Scrappers moved 66 yards in four plays. Took a minute 26 off the clock. Score coming on a 23-yard keeper by the quarterback, Chambers. And Hopkins runs it in for the two-point conversion, and Nashville extends the lead to 22 to nothing. Back deep for the Leopards, standing at about the 10-yard line, will be Luke Pierce. He'll be flanked by Labra and Esther. And they're going to kick it to the near side of the field. It's going to sail out of bounds. So the Leopards get a break there, Coach. They'll get the ball at their 35-yard line. Yeah, get a break there. Uh, you know, give us some breathing room out there on the 35. And, uh, you know, again, offense had a great uh, start, good drive, picked up some great yards the last series. So maybe we can continue right there doing that. Yeah, picked up a couple of first downs, moved from their 12 uh, um all the way uh, inside Nashville territory, but came up empty. And so they'll set it down at the 35-yard line after the kickoff sailed out of bounds. See if we can get a score on the board here and stay within uh, range of Nashville. We've yet to get a stop on them. They have three possessions and three, three touchdowns. touchdowns. Yeah. So it's going to be a... High scoring contest, at least from Nashville's perspective. So the Leopards got to start scoring some points too. And they're going to switch to the wishbone now, coach, with Bigley underneath center. They'll run the option scrimmage, no gain. Yeah, run midline right there and uh, 
as soon as uh, Contrero uh, got the ball, he was he was tackled right there at the line of scrimmage. Now, Coach Bell was talking about part of the problem in the Mina game. The fullbacks were clamping down on the football, and the timing is so critical in this flex bone offense. Yeah, timing is critical, and you know that mesh. You know, you work that mesh every day, and you know, clamping. You know, does not allow the quarterback to pull to get to that third phase. So that's very important in this offense. They'll stay in the wishbone. Binkley will now stand up. They're going to look back at the referee. Not sure what this was. Well, Coach, we've seen the flex bone. We saw the pistol, and now we're seeing the wishbone. So yeah. we're certainly <laughs> keeping it multiple here in the yeah, first half. You know, just using different formations. You know, you're running the same plays out of a different formation, giving the defense different looks. And, uh, you know, that's what you do each week, try to give them something different to prepare for. Not sure what that timeout was for. He but, made uh, one of the defensive linemen's official made one of the defensive linemen leave the field. Uh, I don't know if it's an equipment issue or what. Okay. So we're back to action. Second and 10 at the 35. Can, they'll fake to Contero. Pitch at the last moment for a nice pickup out to about the 43-yard line. Pickup of eight, and we've got to see some of Donovan Esther's Speed that time. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about right there. Great job. Uh, fullback didn't clamp, allowed uh, the quarterback to get to that third phase on that pitch. And, you know, we got the third and short now. Boy, that was a beautiful pitch at the last second by Cole Binkley, which set that up. Yeah, you know, you know defense, they all, everyone thought the uh, fullback had it. They, they collapsed down and great pull right there. All right, third and two. This is a big play for the DeQueen offense. They're in the wishbone. Cantero, the fullback, Cotto, and Esther the running backs, and Cole Binkley looks to keep, and that second effort's going to get him close to the 45-yard line. I believe he has it, Coach. Yeah, he's got a great job right there on midline. Again, uh, he's reading. They they uh, tackle the fullback. Quarterback keeps him and gets the first down on that play right there. Third first down of the night. So the offense has shown significant improvement over the first uh, or over last week's game. We only had one first down against Ashdowns. First team defense. We've got three here in the first half. And the clock is running. Yep, that's what you want. Wishbone set. Binkley barking the signals. He'll turn, hands off. Oh, we got a fumble in the backfield. Ball still loose. Nashville says they have it. A leopard down there fighting for it. Big big leopards on the bottom of the pile. The center, Darian Henderson, but Nashville recovers the football. Tough, tough break there. Tough break there. I couldn't really see what happened on on the exchange. Uh, you know, just tough break. Uh, I thought we were ha- we're on top of it on the bottom of the pile, but Nashville was able to get it. So the first turnover of the night, right, right here. Yeah, uh, go go for the jugular vein, don't they? Carson Chambers in the pistol. Hopkins behind him, flips it out in the left flat, and incomplete. Yeah, trying to run tunnel screen out here, and, and, you know, Chambers just threw the ball at, at his feet there. There was no chance to catch that one. Boy, Nashville loves those tunnel screens, bubble screens, and they, they just like to get people one-on-one, two-on-two. And- right, they want you, uh, they're trying to get people in space. They want you to defend the whole field, and, uh, you know, it stresses the defense. Second and ten, they'll bring a man in motion. They're going to run the jet sweep around the right side. Ooh, a nice hit at the 40-yard line to knock down the uh, ball carrier, number 14, for Nashville. That's Hayden Gray. Hold him to about a three-yard gain. Great job there by Cotto. You know, our, our backer came up. He got uh, went inside, allowed the running back to bounce out. But Cotto from the safety did a great job filling the alley. All right, need to get a stop here. Get off the field. Chambers wants to throw. It's complete at the 40. Makes a man miss at the 35, and he has the first down inside the 30, all the way down to the 27-yard line. The receiver is going to be number 10, Kaysen Morgan. And a leopard had a shot at him back at about the 35, just couldn't haul him down. Did have a shot again, another one of those wide receiver tunnel screens. Uh, you know, that's a staple in Coach Flarvich's playbook. First and 10 at the 27. Leopards come on the blitz, don't get there, and they throw incomplete. Had a man open on the go route in the end zone, but uh, fortunately for the Leopards, he overthrew the intended receiver. Yeah, just overthrew him, you know, uh, Corner, you know, he got his eyes looking in the backfield, and that allowed that receiver to get behind him. But lucky for us, he overshot him there. Second down and 10 at the 26. Clock stops on the incomplete pass with 6.56 to go in the half. Nashville trying to add to a 22 to nothing lead. 
Hopkins looks back at the official. I kind of got a kick watch, watching Trey Hopkins play basketball this past season. He definitely looks out of place out there right. on the basketball he, court. He's definitely built like a running back. He's definitely in his forte right here. They'll run the jet sweep left. Good yardage and a good open field tackle, but good. not before the ball carrier, number six, Khalil Kennedy. We do have a flag right. down. Yeah. So that one may come back. Maybe it looks in the vicinity of holding. Well, that would be nice. The flag setting at the DeQueen 23-yard line. As the officials still conferring, now they'll mark off 10 yards. That's going to be a pickup of three for Khalil Kennedy and then a 10-yard penalty against Nashville. They've now been penalized twice for 20 yards. That's going to move it back to the... What, the 33? 33. You know, that's two jet sweeps in this uh, series. So Coach Lurch is seeing something he likes uh, going, to the, going to those jet sweeps. He's going to bring up a second down and about to 17. Back at the 33-yard line now. Inside handoff to Dixon. Makes a man miss. And he's inside the 25. And he'll be shoved out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. So he'll pick up about 11. And... Uh, well, i tell you what, Coach, they, they don't fall off much from Hopkins to Dixon. No, they, you, they got a, a deep uh, running back room. Uh, kind of reminds me of the Razorbacks. They got, yeah. you know, whoever you put in there, they're going to run hard, get the job done. But great job there by Fernando Aprecio and uh, Luke Pierce there to get, knock that guy out of bounds. Picks up about 11 yards. That's going to bring up third down and a long four. Chambers wants to keep. On the RPO, he's going to have the first down inside the 15-yard line to about the 14-yard line. Give him eight on that carry, and that will move the chains for the scrappers. Boy, you're exactly right, Coach. He can uh, he can uh, beat you with his arm and his feet. Yeah, again, our, uh, power read there, just reading, and then again, he's get that's their go-to play here right now. Uh, you know, when they need a first down, first and ten, Nashville. Knocking on the door at the DeQueen 14-yard line. He's going to roll the pocket to his left. Leopard's after him. He's going to keep, and he'll step out of bounds. Good defense and good downfield coverage that time by the secondary. Yeah, great coverage. Nobody is open. Uh, Chambers had to, had to run, and uh, Wise was there to knock him out of bounds. Great job right there. Well, he may be a yard on that. I'm going to say no game. No game, that. second and 10. At the 13-yard line. Clock stops at the 5.59 mark in the first half as Chambers chased out of bounds. Second and 10. Chambers takes a snap. He's going to roll the pocket right this time. Throws. Has a man inside the 10, and the Leopards will drop him immediately, but it's going to be a pickup of about uh, seven or eight yards for uh, number 10, Kaysen Morgan. Yeah, ran a hit, uh, hitch route from number one receiver out there. Jared Munoz, cornerback there on the tackle. Two catches, 20 yards for Morgan. Now the scrapper's inside the 10 at about the leopard seven. Chambers straight ahead to Hopkins. And Hopkins fighting for yardage. He's going to get inside the five, and he'll be finally thrown down at about the two. And we've got a flag thrown after the play for a little extracurricular activity there. Yeah, Jake Martin comes up uh, off the pile there, making the tackle there, along with Lance Wise, and the flag come late uh, after that play. Yep, the officials talking it over. Usually it takes two to tango here, but uh, we may have offsetting penalties. I don't know. They're still talking it over. They are. The play stands. It's a... First down, well, it'll be first down one way or the other because the penalty came after the play. So for Hopkins, that's a pickup of five yards. And if it's going to bring up first and goal from Nashville, will it be at the two-yard line? No, offset. Okay, that's what I figured, offsetting penalties. So it's going to bring up first and goal Nashville as they pick up their 11th first down of the night at the 523 mark here in the first half. Still have it. Now they'll set the chains down. First and goal. At the DeQueen 2. Hopkins the running back behind 
Carson Chambers, who's in the pistol. Here comes Hopkins. Ooh, he's upended, but he's going to sail into the end zone for the Nashville touchdown. Yeah, just ran uh, right there, right off the right edge, and uh, safety come up, and Hopkins jumped uh, into the end zone there and get the score there. So Hopkins is uh, definitely looking healthy tonight, Jay. Thank you. Get any D1 looks? He's kind of small. Yeah, I don't know how many uh, looks he's getting. I know definitely D2. Uh, he fits the mode very well. So the scrappers send on Jose Perez to try to tack on the extra point here. It's a good snap. The right-footed soccer-style kicker will put it through. And with 5.14 to go first half, it's Nashville 29, the Queen nothing. Back for the kickoff in one minute. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville, let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. Sophomore Larry Labra takes the kick, and he returns it out to about the 30-yard line. Boy, he was uh, 32. He was slammed to the turf pretty hard on the far side of the field. Yeah, he bobbled it, you know, got control of it, and, and got what he could. And like you said, they slammed him pretty hard over there. We got five minutes till half. We put a, a five-minute drive here going into half, get some uh, little momentum here. Well, the scrappers moved 42 yards after the leopard – fumble and took them 11 plays two minutes 33 seconds off the clock score coming on a two-yard run by hopkins his second touchdown of the night and it's 29 to nothing binkley wants to roll right scrappers after him scrappers hit him for a big loss yeah a lot of scrappers there in the in the backfield uh you know so as soon as cole got there to the uh edge you know a whole host of scrappers were there to meet him cole's gonna lose seven on that carry is play never really had a chance to develop you think it was a passing call there passing play uh, it looked like load you know what we call load trying to get the running back there you know we had three late lead blockers there on the edge uh, uh i think they were trying to run load right there leopards would love to eat up the rest of this first half clock we're down to 4 30 to go scrappers want to get the ball back score again and invoke the sportsmanship rule heading into the second half it's going to bring up Second and 17, Binkley takes a snap, throwing down the middle, and it's going to be caught, I believe. Nope, incomplete at the 36-yard line. Yeah, looking for Cotto there across the middle. Same play. They had a big game a while ago, and uh, just off of uh, Cotto's fingertips right there to bring up third and long. Stops the clock with 4.14 to go in the half. On the night, Cole Blink, Binkley, uh, two for four for 35 yards, his best night of throwing the football thus far this season. Kyle Williamson checking in. Fernando Aprecio checking in. Double tight set coming up here. So the Leopard's going to go back to the wishbone on this third and 17. They'll run the option right. Quintero has a little seam. He's going to get across the 35. Nice game by the fullback. He's going to be short of that first down marker, but he does ramble for about uh, 10 yards there. Yeah, great great read right there, great run uh, by the fullback, and now you got a decision, you know, fourth yeah. and four, fourth and five, you know, down here, what are you going to do? Picked up 13 on that carry. I wonder if we're trying to draw them off sides here, Jake. That wouldn't be a bad move. you got two timeouts left. Uh, you know, run the – you can't draw them off. Take a timeout. Take a timeout, and then you can talk about it. Yep. Fourth and four, and the Leopard's going to line up as if to go for it here from the wishbone. Binkley will now stand up, and they drew the scrappers offsides. What a job by Cole Binkley to stagger the snap count. 
Yeah, the, the, the right defensive end for Nashville up there got into the neutral zone and uh, got us a five-yard penalty, got us a first down, new set of downs, and the clock will continue to run. Stuff like that makes you want to get out of coaching, doesn't it, Coach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, you preach it all week long, all year long in this situation, and, uh, again, they're still 15 to 18-year-old kids. <laughs> so the Leopards get a first down the easy way. They're fourth first down of the first half. Now see if we can go get some points. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Binkley's in the pistol, takes a snap. Quintero gets the call. Stiff arms a would-be tackler and will pound it out for a couple to the 45-yard line where it'll bring up second down and eight. Yeah, positive yards. That's, you know, that's what we uh, preach in this offense. You want to get three to four yards and, uh, you know, great job right there by Quintero. And, again, it's positive. It's Keeps the chains moving, keeps the clock running. Yeah, if nothing else, uh, well, I saw the lightning out of the southwest there. We want to keep that away from the stadium. We don't need any delays tonight. Second down and eight. Clock down to 2.30 to go in the first half. Binkley has him set. He's going to run the option left, and he throws a dangerous pitch. But uh, somehow, Cotto, I believe, came out of there with it. And I actually picked up about a yard out to the 46-yard line. Yeah, running veer, uh, you know, great job by Cole and Cotto to uh, get, the, get the playoff where he catch by Cotto. Uh, got us in a third down right here. Clock's on the move, 2.10 to go. And uh, Leopards would love to uh, eat up the rest of this first half clock. Would love to get some points on the board, but if not, at least keep the ball away Take from Nashville. Nashville the rest of the half. Need a play here on this uh, third down and about uh, seven. They're going to run the option right. Cole cuts up field, and he'll have a few yards out near the midfield stripe, and it's going to bring up about fourth and a long uh, two there, Coach. Yeah, fourth and a long two, maybe three. Uh, Ran Veer right there. Uh, you know, great job right there. Just got within three yards short, and uh, Coach Bell is going to send on the punt team here. All right. A little surprised he may not didn't try to draw him off again on this fourth and uh, three. But uh, Leopard's going to punt it away with a minute 15 to play in the first half and the clock running. And we've got a whistle stopping the play. And now the Leopard's going to take a timeout. He may rethink this. What do you think? Well, we're trying to uh, – we, we ran a play right there, trying to draw uh, Nashville offsides. It didn't work. And so call a timeout and just, just think about it here. So we, uh, although we were in punt formation, we were still trying to draw them off sides. Yeah, uh, the Queens got to play, you know, in punt formation, and you know, just a certain call that they have. You know, they're trying to draw them off sides in that situation. Uh, Nashville was discipline that time, didn't work. So call time out, give you a little extra time to think about uh, a play uh, for this situation. All right, Leopards with one timeout left here in the first half. Hope we haven't left that scrapper. Explosive offense, too much time on the board here. If we do indeed punt it away. Looks like we got the offense back on the field, Jay. Okay. We're going to line up to go for it here. And I would imagine the strategy is still to try to draw them off sides. Yeah, may try to draw them off one more. You, you probably, in talking in the huddle, if we don't draw them off sides, then we're running this play right here. All right, here we go. A minute nine until halftime. The Leopards. Fourth down and a long two. The ball at the midfield stripe. And they're going to stay in that wishbone set. Binkley underneath center. Cole will run the option right. Fakes. Now he pitches. And the ball carrier, I believe, has the first down. Great job right there. Run it. We ran beer right there. Everybody sucked in on the uh, fullback thinking he had it. We got to the third phase of the option. Great pitch and catch and run to pick up the first down. So uh, great job right there offensively. Luke Pierce. Picks up four yards. Well, he's a tough, tough kid, isn't he? Yeah, very tough. You know, he rides bulls on the weekend, so, you know, <laughs> he's, he's a tough kid. Defensively, he arrives at the football in a bad attitude and uh, made a tough run there to get that first down. First and 10 now at the Nashville 46. They're going to stay in the wishbone. We're inside one minute to go now. And Nashville scoops it up on the fumble and coming out of there with it. Oh, my. That's going to be number 23. Donovan, uh, Donovan was able to recover it. Uh, you know, great job right there. Uh, 
Oh, so we maintain possession. We maintain possession. Uh, we got okay. lucky. Nashville almost scooped the score, but uh, we were ma- able to maintain possession by the recovery there. Okay, we'll lose about uh, seven on that play back to the uh, DeQueen 47, and we've got a timeout on the field with 33 seconds to go in the half. We'll take one, too. It's Nashville 29, DeQueen nothing. We're back in 30 seconds. Here at Warehouser, we have a plywood operation in Emerson, a softwood lumber facility in Dirks, and a nursery and orchard in Magnolia. We also have Timberland offices and operations in Crossett, DeQueen, Hot Springs, and Sheridan. In the past five years, Warehouser has given back to our communities where we operate over $500,000 in grants through our formal giving program. Find out more about our giving fund at warehouser.com. Ninth play of this drive coming up, Coach Fannin. And uh, so the Leopards, uh, they they took over their own 32-yard line with five minutes, nine seconds to go in the half. So I, I think even if we don't score here, Coach Bell's got to be pleased that uh, uh, we took the ball and ran out the half. Yeah, ran, yeah, ran out the half there. And like you said, it, it keeps that uh, explosive national offense off the field. Binkley's in the pistol on this second and 17. Cole wants to throw the football. Ooh, hit. Now he tucks, and he's going to be sacked back at the 41-yard line. So Binkley will lose six on that, but really fortunate just to hang on to the football there. Yeah, really fortunate. We had a wheel play set up down here and, uh, you know, looking the pass there and was unable to get it off. We had too much pressure there in the backfield and uh, probably the last play if we get one off here of the quarter. Yep, down to five seconds. Leopards rush to the line of scrimmage, and Binkley gets the snap. Cole's going to roll right, throws. It's going to be incomplete intended for Cotto at about the 45-yard line, and the half ends on that. Well, the Nashville Scrappers will take a 29 to nothing lead into the locker room at half as the Leopards run out the final five minutes, nine seconds of that first half, but fail to score. We'll be back to take a look at the first half scoring summary following this three-minute timeout. With the low cash and carry prices and the huge selection of items you need for building and home improvements, shopping at Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen is fun. It's no wonder that Bailey's has customers from Mina, Nashville, Ashdown, even Texarkana and Hot Springs. Bailey's is your one-stop shopping spot for hardware, lumber, plumbing, paint, and much more at everyday low prices. So get your shopping list together for home improvements and see Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen. I'm Stacy Dowdy, CNO of the Sevier County Medical Center, and I'm here to say our new hospital is here for you. The Sevier County Medical Center has 15 inpatient care unit beds and 10 emergency beds, but also provides a range of routine and quality health care services. We offer imaging and radiology services, respiratory therapy, and lab services, as well as outpatient therapy to help you recover and enjoy life to the fullest. Our specialty clinic is now open as well, with a focus on interventional cardiology. Find out more about the Sevier County Medical Center at sevierrcountymedical.com or visit us in person. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of Queen, Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. Equal housing. Lender. Fresh off their summer lineup of convertible sports cars, for September, Saracen is giving away the king of luxury pickups, Toyota's new Tundra Capstone from Trotter Toyota. The Tundra Capstone is the ultimate in luxurious trucks, and it can be yours just for playing your favorite games at Saracen Casino Resort. Only 40 minutes from Little Rock, Saracen is Little Rock's closest place to play and win. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Family problem? Call 800 522 4700 Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? No way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team, 
See agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our prearrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen. We're dedicated to the care of those we serve. We're at the half at Leopard Stadium, and the Nashville Scrappers lead the DeQueen Leopards by a score of 29 to nothing. Our halftime show brought to you by Airy Vac Life Team Number 73, headquartered here in DeQueen. They're now housed at the new Sevier County Medical Center. Airy Vac Life Team is the leading provider of emergency air medical transportation services, operating a large number of air ambulance bases with memberships valid across 320 locations in 38 states with a pilot, flight nurse, and flight paramedic. Available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, ready to respond to the scene of a medical emergency or to transport patients between medical facilities. Memberships are available for only $99 a year and cover everyone in your household. Your membership crosses state lines, so you're always covered and could save you tens of thousands of dollars in an emergency. For more information, visit Airy Vac Life Team number 73 on Facebook or call Lori White at 870-925-1269. Well, let's take a look at the first half scoring summary brought to you by Bailey Discount Building Supply with everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. Scrappers scored uh, 14 points in the opening quarter, a 60-yard drive in eight plays capped on a two-yard run by Trey Hopkins at the 7.36 mark of the opening quarter, Jose Perez's extra point made it 7 to nothing. Scrappers on their second series marched 65 yards in 12 plays. Score coming with a minute 50 to go in the opening quarter on a three-yard run by Tucker Dixon. Perez's extra point made it 14 to nothing. Then the Scrappers moved 66 yards in four plays. Score coming with 9.10 to go in the half on a 23-yard run by quarterback Carson Chambers. Hopkins carried it in for the two-point conversion to extend the lead to 22 to nothing, and the Scrappers wrapped up the scoring at the 5-14 mark after recovering a fumble at the DeQueen 42-yard line. They marched to pay dirt in 11 plays. Hopkins got the score on the two-yard run, and Jose Perez nailed the extra point to make the halftime score. Nashville 29, DeQueen nothing. We'll be back to take a look at some first half statistics as our Airy Vac Life Team 73 halftime show continues after this three minute timeout. College dreams come true at the University of Central Arkansas, especially now with the UCA commitment. This new program provides a debt free pathway for tuition and fees for Arkansas students whose families earn $100,000 or less a year. And that impacts everything. It's fewer barriers and endless opportunities. Welcome to Bear Country. Learn more about the UCA commitment at uca.edu. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. 
or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties. In fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Jay Bunyard and Coach Jared Fannin back at Leopard Stadium. It's the Vac Life Team 73 halftime show. Nashville leading DeQueen at intermission 29 to nothing. Let's take a look at some first-half statistics now brought to you by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud to present the Leopards player of the game. Nashville rolls up 256 yards in total offense at the half while holding the Leopards to 52 yards. Nashville offensively, 210 yards on the ground. And uh, Coach Fannin, you know, you, you always hear about Nashville's uh, passing attack, but only 46 yards through the air, 210 yards on the ground. Yeah, you know, you got Hopkins back there uh, at, at running back. You know, they use him uh, well, and you got Chambers is also well. So, uh, you know, two headed monster to defend. And again, uh, you know, like you said, you, you think of Nazareth, you think of spread, but, uh, you know, they may be in a spread formation, but they, they still like to run the football. Trey Hopkins leads the way, 11 carries, 75 yards and two touchdowns. Tucker Dixon, sophomore backup running back, had five carries for 65 yards, and the quarterback Carson Chambers, five carries for 55 yards and a touchdown. 26 carries, 210 yards in total offense for Nashville. All in all, the Leopards did a pretty nice job shutting down the jet sweep. They tried that play five times, Coach, and only came away with 15 yards on the jet sweep. Yeah, you know, Nashville, they, they like to use their speed, want to get outside. Uh, you know, DeQueen uh, played that pretty well. So, uh, you know, to counter that, Coach Villarreal kind of going, uh, you know, running the power read, running Hopkins uh, more inside zone at the middle. And so that's kind of how he's counteracting that right there. Through the air, Chambers 5 of 9 for 46 yards. Leading receiver, Kaysen Morgan, 2 receptions for 20 yards. 35 snaps, 256 yards in total offense uh, for Nashville. Uh, Coach, the Leopards held to just 52 yards in total offense, but that's a little misleading as we had uh, some losses that really took the yardage away. We moved the ball well at times. Yeah, it is misleading. You know, we uh... – Able to move the ball. We got some great runs, a great pass uh, there to Cotto there, get some nice yardage. Uh, we moved the ball, uh, you know, just a few uh, mistakes here, kind of got us behind the chains. And, you know, this offense, we're just not built uh, to be behind the chains. You know, we want to go uh, three yards, you know, three, four yards uh, every time, get that clock and chains moving. So, uh, but you can you can tell, you know, we're running Veer, run, great reads on Veer that we're able to uh, – we were able to get to the third uh, phase in the option there a few times, picked up a big first down there at the end. So uh, good life there, good size, you know, just put it all together, you know, and get to, get it going. Leopards with 17 net yards rushing on 21 attempts. The leading ball carrier was Gareth Quintero, the fullback. He had four carries for 15 yards. Uh, through the air, Cole Binkley, two of five for 35 yards. Uh, that uh, reception to Cotto that Coach Fannin referenced uh, was good for 32 yards, and then he also completed a pass to Donovan Esther for three yards. 26 snaps for 52 yards in total offense for the Leopards. Uh, Leopards run up five first downs uh, in the first half tonight, a big improvement over Ashdown, 
where they were limited to just one first down against the Panthers' first team. Uh, Nashville, with 11 first downs in the first half. Uh, DeQueen, uh, two penalties for 15 yards. Nashville flagged three times for 25 yards. And the only turnover the first half, uh, Leopard fumble, which uh, was uh, uh, eventually uh, converted into a scrapper score. So after being guilty of nine turnovers in the first two games, Coach, the Leopards only turned it over one time in the first half tonight, a lot cleaner in that area. Yeah, a lot cleaner game. You know, those first two, you know, like you said, we had those nine and two games, but tonight just one. And, uh, you know, you can tell, you know, I know it's been an emphasis, uh, you know, all even all year, but, you know, really this week. And uh, you can tell it's paid off, made a big difference so far tonight. Our halftime score – 29 to Queen nothing. It's the Airy Vac Life Team 73 halftime show. Memberships available for only $99 a year and cover everyone in your household. Look them up on Facebook, Airy Vac Life Team 73, or call Lori White at 870-925-1269. We'll be back to take a look at some other scores from around the area after this three-minute timeout. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet. With APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit Gentry Chevy Inc. Dot com or check them out on Facebook. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. Your business is up against a lot of things these days. Inflation costs, workforce issues, federal overreach, the list of things keeping you up at night keeps getting longer. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas is here to help. We are constantly working to improve the business climate and make Arkansas as competitive as possible. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas works tirelessly for your business so you can rest easy. Join us today. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Looking for a bank that cares about you and your community? First State Bank is your community bank. We're involved in our community because that's important to us. That's what local businesses do, and we're a local business too. Visit us to see how you can join the First State Bank family today. You'll even get a free gift if you join, because that's local banking done right. Terms and conditions apply. First State Bank, member of FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, the smell of those charcoal grills. It's that time of year again when the nights are getting cooler and the trees are changing colors. I am Renata Jenkins Byler with Roller Funeral Homes, reminding us all with school back in session to watch and be careful for children in school buses, dogs being walked, and joggers. Also, this time of year has us getting ready for those tailgates and big games this week. So play hard, cheer loud, and drive carefully. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. Jay Bunyard and Coach Jared Fannin back at Historic Leopard Stadium. Our halftime score is Nashville 29, DeQueen nothing. Let's take a look at some other scores from around the area brought to you by DeQueen Church of Christ. Love, serve, grow. Well, they got a good one going on down at Dick Hayes Stadium between Hope and Ashdown. Bobcats leading 7-6 to six in the second quarter there. Uh, Coach, your alma mater, the Dirks Outlaws, and a good one tonight with the Gurdon Go Devils. The Outlaws leading 8-6 to six in the second quarter. Yeah, uh, 
Derrickson Gurdon always a big game. You know, they're playing at Gurdon tonight, and, uh, you know, Coach Jackson at Gurdon, you know, he's known for uh, his defense. You know, he likes to play that uh, – Four three cover two, and you know they get her up in your face, and so it looks like it's a battle down there at uh, Gerd. This Mineral Springs team must be for real. They're smacking smack over tonight, forty two to nothing, uh, in that contest. Murfreesboro, a much improved team. Uh, Coach uh, Cheshire has a lot of starters returning. They're ahead of Episcopal Collegiate, twenty six to seven, in the third quarter. Uh, Mina and Link in a good one. The Bearcats on the road at Lincoln. And Mina leading 14 to 12 in the second quarter. How about this one, Coach? Little Rock Park View 28, Bryant 20 in the second quarter. Wow, that's unbelievable. You know, Park View in our conference, 5A school, going to play uh, Powerhouse Bryant. And it uh, looks like it's at Bryant. Yep. And, uh, you know, they're leading right now. That just shows you uh, what kind of team uh, Coach Bolding has this year. And, uh, you know, if you even if you get beat by two by Brian, that's still saying something. But you're leading right now, so that's that's impressive there. And then that's the same Parkview team uh, will come to uh, Leopard Stadium here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, they will. That'll be a Thursday night game. Probably the most improved team in the conference. Coach is Arkansas High. They're off to a two and zero start. And they lead Arkadelphia twenty three to fourteen in the second. Quarter. Yeah, Arkansas High last year, you know, was a heavy sophomore uh, related team, and you know. The record didn't show it, but you can tell that uh, those guys got some experience, and uh, it's paying off this year as, as they're getting off to a great start. Hot Springs Lakeside off to a great start, 2-0. Uh, they won against Lake Hamilton and against Russellville, stepping up in classification. But tonight, they have their hands full with the defending Class 4A state champions from Malvern. The Malvern Leopards leading Hot Springs Lakeside 28-14 to in the second quarter. And at the half, Camden Fairview picked up a game against Class 3A Boonville on the road, and the Cardinals lead the Bearcats 22-8 to at the half. That's a look at some other scores from around the area. Our score here at Leopard Stadium is Nashville 29, DeQueen nothing. It's the Airy Vac Life Team 73 halftime show, and we'll be back to set the stage for the second half following this three-minute timeout. DeQueen Auto Group is proud of their full-service body shop. Their body shop manager, Diego DeNova, can assist you with insurance claims, windshield repair, and accessories such as bed liners, side steps, and grill guards. Call DeQueen Auto Group today at 870-642-3604, option 4. They're located across from the dealership next to Subway. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's team of over 2,000 employees has one mission, deliver reliable, affordable, responsible power to 1.2 million members across Arkansas. But closings of baseload power plants across America are making this tougher and tougher. We believe in intermittent resources like wind and solar, but the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. A balance of power game plan that includes every energy resource is a must to keep the Friday night lights bright. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Sevier County Housing Authority, with offices at 304 South 13th Street in Queen, is providing good, safe, and affordable housing. Sevier County Housing Authority has 111 apartments in Queen, Horatio, and Lodgsburg. These apartments feature central heat and air, and a stove and refrigerator are furnished. All applicants are screened, and income limits apply. For more information, stop by the Sevier County Housing Authority office at 304 South 13th Street in Queen, or call 642-2960. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable and professional service since 1929. Supporting the Tequeen Leopards, it's a Wilkerson Funeral Home. Are you looking for a friendly and reliable bank? Turn to Idabel National Bank, where we offer an array of banking services for all your financial needs. Since 1921, Idabel National Bank has offered a variety of savings and checking accounts, financial planning, and lending services, including consumer, business, and home loans. Here at Idabel National Bank, we take pride in our customer service. So if you're looking for exceptional financial services, make sure to stop by Idabel National Bank on Southeast Washington Street in Idabel. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
I'm Rex Nelson. People travel to Arkansas to experience its natural beauty. We even market ourselves as the natural state. Our landscapes not only make this state exciting to visit, but a wonderful place to live. Not to mention the positive impact tourism has on our economy. It's our responsibility to keep our environment litter-free. Let's do our part to keep it beautiful. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. That's going to wrap up our halftime show, the Airy Vac Life Team 73 halftime show. Nashville leading DeQueen 29 to nothing, and the Scrappers will receive the second half kickoff, and we're underway. It'll be taken at the 28th. The ball carrier upended on a fine open field tackle at the 34-yard line. Good downfield coverage, Coach. Great coverage right there. It's, uh, Munoz coming up making a great uh, one-on-one tackle right there. That's the way you stay in your lanes, so to, so to speak. Yeah, but of course, D-Queen, you know, kicking away from Hopkins. And, uh, again, great coverage right there by the kickoff team. So we're underway here in the third quarter with Nashville leading 29 to nothing, and uh, defense needs to step up and get a stop. Nashville scoring on uh, – they just had four possessions in the first half, but they scored on all four. They can flip it out in the right flat complete. They make one man miss, and he winds up turning what should have been a loss into about a four-yard gain. Yeah, just throw a flare out to Hopkins there, and again, they want to get him in open space, and he's dangerous uh, when he's in open space. Held to a four-yard gain, but that could have very easily been a four-yard loss. Second and six, here comes Hopkins on the sweep right, and he's still on his feet across the 45. He's going to get up to about the 48-yard line. That that was Hunter Dixon on the carry that time, and uh, – He's going to have enough for a scrapper first down. Yeah, just, uh, again, two-headed monster. Don't matter who Nashville puts it back there. They're, they're going to give him the rock. Up to the 49 now, and Chambers throws it complete in the right flat to Jordan Jones. He's across midfield into Leopard territory down to the 46-yard line for a pickup of about five yards. Yeah, ran a bubble screen out there. Luke Pierce on the tackle and Kyle Williamson uh, – also on the tackle, great pursuit there by, both, by those guys. Second down and about five. Chambers wants to throw again, looking down the middle. Now he's going to find his uh, his uh, secondary receiver, uh, Conway, and he's going to step out of bounds for short yardage, only about two down to the 44-yard line. Yeah, Jake, Jake Martin forced him out and Kyle Williamson again there on the tackle. Great job. It's two sophomores right there on the tackle. Conway, the transfer from Murfreesboro. Leopards have done a pretty good job on him tonight. That's his first catch of the night. Now it's going to bring up a big third and three from the 44-yard line. Chambers in the pistol. They're going to run the jet sweep right to Conway. He'll have the first down at the 40. He'll dive to the 33-yard line for a pickup of 11, and that will move the chains for the scrappers. Yeah, Nashville uh, running jet sweep there. They're able to get outside on us uh, and get around the edge there to pick up the first down. It's really the first time the jet sweep has worked for them tonight. Pickup of 11, first and 10 at the DeQueen 34. Chambers has them set, wants to flip it out in the right flat. Oh, defended beautifully by the Leopards as the receiver, Case and Morgan. Hit for a loss. Great job right there. Lance Wise coming up on that wide receiver screen and uh, making a tackle there in the in, behind the line of scrimmage and uh, getting Nashville behind the chains here on second down. That's going to be a loss of about three yards. That was a heck of a play by Wise. Second down and 13. Back at the 37-yard line now. Hopkins is set back beside Chambers. Chambers is going to be flushed out of the pocket to his right, throwing downfield. It's going to be knocked away. Boy, he had a shot to pick that one off at the 15-yard line, but a good defensive play by the Leopards. Yeah, got pressure again on Chambers, getting him out of the pocket and, uh, you know, had a chance there to uh, be interception. Would have been a big interception there and uh, uh, wasn't able to capitalize on that. But it it gets a national end uh, third and long. Third and 13. They're going to get all. All the way down to the DeQueen 24-yard line. 
Chambers in the pistol, looks to the sidelines. We've got a flag thrown by the line judge. Oh, oh man. Encroachment. Uh, against the Leopard defense. Leopard's now penalized five times for 20 yards. Uh, I'm sorry, three times for 20 yards. And instead of third and 13, it's now third and eight. Chambers in the pistol, Dixon beside him. Chambers wants to throw the football, and he has a receiver. He steps out of bounds. Let's see where they spot it. I'm not sure he stepped past the chain. Oh, he's going to get he's a good spot. He's going to give him a good spot. You know, ran, ran hitch, uh, ran at the sticks. Uh, simple throw and catch there for the first down. I thought uh, Morgan was a little lackadaisical there. Yeah, I thought he might have stepped out before. Uh, I thought so too, but he got a favorable spot and a first down at the Leopard 24. Chambers drops back, throwing for the end zone. It's going to be too tall for the intended receiver. Incomplete. Nice coverage by the Leopards. Yeah, great coverage right there. Nashville went empty that time. I haven't seen a lot of empty so far tonight and uh, trying to hit the post there. And then Chambers just overshot him there. Great coverage there by John John. Second down and 10. Now, John John's only about 5'7", but, uh, boy, he plays big, doesn't he? He big plays heart. big, and uh, he has the most confidence of anybody on the field, I can tell you that. Likes to talk a little smack to those bigger <laughs> guys, doesn't he? All right, second and 10, here comes Hopkins running right. Now he slides outside to his right. Going to be upended at the 20-yard line. He'll pick up five down to the Leopard 19. A great job there by uh, – Jerry Munoz coming from the corner position, uh, making a great uh, tackle right there on Hopkins. Hopkins, 12 carries, 80 yards on his return to action after sitting out last week. Leopard defense trying to hold the scrappers here to prevent them from invoking the sportsmanship rule. Second and five from the 19. Chambers going to roll right. He's going to be hit and sacked. That's got to be grounded. got to be intentional grounding. Or he didn't have a receiver anywhere. And didn't have a receiver, and the ball didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, you can't tell me that. And he's not going to throw his flag, Jay. Wow. Wow, just an incomplete pass. That was a great pass rush by Campuzano, I believe, number 13. Looked like, looked like Jake Martin. Could have been, yeah. Got him. Great job there. Uh, should have been intentional grounding, but unfortunately – now the officials are going to talk. Yeah, I have no idea what they were looking at. I've never seen a more obvious intentional grounding. Because there was nobody. It met none of the criteria. There wasn't a receiver in the vicinity. As you mentioned, didn't get the pass back to the line of scrimmage. And Coach Bell does not understand it. They're trying to explain it to him, but I'm not sure they'll convince him otherwise. <laughs> Anything he, he says – we're not going to accept because I think that just he missed that one. Well, that's going to bring up fourth and not fourth and five after the Queen 19. Boy, need to get a stop right here. Clock's on the move, 820 to go third quarter. Nashville leading by 29, trying to score and invoke the sportsmanship rule. They'll bring a man in motion to the right. It's a quarterback right. keeper. And he's going to have the first down. Chambers lowers his shoulder, gets inside the 10. All the way down to the eight-yard line. Yeah, power read again, Jay. Uh, anytime they get in third and short, fourth and short, uh, they love going to that play there with uh, Chambers. He's just reading that. First and goal to go, Nashville, at the DeQueen eight-yard line. Chambers in the pistol. Hand off to Hopkins coming left. Looks to turn the corner. It's a race to the pylon. No signal as yet. Did he get in? He got in. Touchdown, Jay. Okay. Boy, he just got the ball on top of that pylon, didn't he? Yeah, the official was having to get out of the way, so he was, it was hard to see, but he did signal touchdown. Eight-yard run by Trey Hopkins, and that will invoke the sportsmanship rule. So we'll have a fast-moving clock here for the rest of the game. That's the third score of the night for Hopkins as Jose Perez on to attempt to add point number 36 for Nashville. The kick is up, and it's perfect. Nashville 36, Leopards nothing. Back for the kickoff in one minute. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. 
At the Dequeen Church of Christ, we are a body of believers on a faith journey called life. We are here to encourage each other and welcome other seekers we meet on the journey of life. Our vision at the Dequeen Church of Christ is very simple and straightforward. We want to be disciples of Jesus Christ. If that is the church you are looking for, join us this Sunday at 1015 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call Dequeen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home, fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in Dequeen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Donovan Esther takes the kickoff, and boy, he gets it back to the 35-yard line, but he made some jukes and some jives down there and uh, ran about 40 yards to pick up about 10, 15. We've got a flag thrown as well, and sometimes you worry about that when you reverse your field like that. Yeah, uh, not sure yet what it's on, but if it's on the Leopards again, uh, man, it's just tough. It's hard to overcome penalties that would have set up good field position. The sportsmanship rule is invoked here. Well, it's against Nashville. Nashville good. Wow. Okay. Pers- personal foul. All right, so the Leopards get a break there. That's going to be a big 15-yarder and going to start us out near midfield. Scrappers penalized four times for 40 yards, and Coach Belarvich not going to be happy with that one. Wow, all the way to the Nashville 45-yard line. Yeah, great job right there. Again, like you said, Donovan reverse field, and uh, I believe I saw a Nashville uh, player uh, slam down one of our players, and that's what drew the flag. All right, Leopards will start 45 yards away from Pater. Let's see if we can score here. Here comes Esther running right, and he'll be tackled from behind after about three yards down to the 42-yard line. Yeah, I ran crossbook right there, and then, you know, that's a staple play in, in this offense. And again, positive yard that's, uh, right there to set up a good second down uh, to get something going here. Leopards have an open date next week, Coach, before they start conference play on the road at Hope. How, how did you like to approach the open You know, days? thing about open dates, you, you get to get some guys healthy. Again, you get to work on the things, go back from the previous uh, three weeks, you work on those things and shore up things where you need. What's well, a misdirection handoff to Esther this time, and the line pushing the pile forward for an extra couple of yards down – Inside the Nashville 40, I believe they'll spot it at the 39. So that's going to be a pickup of three more for Donovan and going to bring up third and four. Yeah, again, positive yardage. Uh, Cox uh, obviously running, but, you know, that's what you want to see. The the offense is uh, not behind the chains. They're moving the football like the offense is built to do. Boy, he didn't get a very good spot there. No, he did not. Just thinking that. Man, put it back at the 40. So it's third and five. They're going to switch back into the flex bone. They'll bring – Esther in motion. Binkley looks to keep, but the scrappers will swarm Cole for a loss back at about the 44-yard line. Yeah, ran uh, midline right there, and, uh, you know, great read right there. And as soon as he turned it up, the uh, lineman stepped in and made the tackle. So we've got a, continu- a clock that's running continuously now here in the second half with the sportsmanship rule invoked. Scrappers up by 36. And it looks like uh, Binkley will come back to the huddle, so we're going to go for it on this fourth and nine. Need to get to the 35 to move the chains. And we're going to go back to the pistol. Binkley has him set, takes a snap, wants to throw. Here come the scrappers, and it's going to be thrown incomplete. Tried to set up a screen that time, I believe. Tried to hit Cotto right there. Uh... Cotto heavily covered, all the receivers covered, and uh, unable to uh, pick up the first there. Uh, Nashville will get the ball here as our Leopard defense comes back onto the field. So the Scrappers stopped the Leopards. We had great field position at uh, the Nashville 45-yard line after the personal foul penalty, but couldn't move. Turn it over on downs, and Nashville will take over at their own 44. Don't forget Arkansas and Kent State tomorrow. It'll be a 3 o'clock kick in Fayetteville. Airtime 12 noon right here 
on number one country, 92.1. They'll run the jet sweep right this time. And uh, the ball carrier has good yardage across midfield, spins to about the Leopard 47-yard line. That's going to be uh, number six, Khalil Kennedy on that carry, and he's going to pick up about nine yards. Yeah, ran jet sweep right there again. Uh, outside backer ran inside, allowed the uh, running back to get outside uh, to pick up nine. Still have their starters in their coach up thirty six to nothing. Yep, the uh, Nashville still got their ones in. All right, Chambers wants to throw, has all day throwing downfield. It's incomplete. Good downfield coverage. Looks like we dropped about seven or eight in the coverage that time, and and Chambers just threw it away. Yeah, great coverage right there. And, again, like you said, our backers dropped and, uh, you know, nowhere to go, so Chambers just threw it away. Don't forget all the scores from around the state coming up 10 to midnight tonight with Rex Nelson. They'll flip it out in the run flat complete, and the receiver still on his feet inside the 40, finally shoved out of bounds. At about the 36-yard line, that's going to be uh, Morgan. That'll be enough for another Nashville first down. Yeah, uh, Kyle Williamson there on the tackle, Munoz there on the tackle as well, and it looks like Jakers Munoz was on the tackle as well to force him out of bounds. First down at the DeQueen 36. Chambers flips it out in the right flat again. Oh, what an open field tackle at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Munoz coming up again. Uh, great job right there as two flags fly at the end of that play. All right, we'll have to sort all this out. Two teams that really don't care for one another too much. 96 beating. When you play 96 times, you're going to have some cheapiness. <laughs> uh, the officials powwow at the – 35-yard line. I believe the Leopard's going to be guilty of the personal foul penalty this time. Looks like Nashville has a guy down cramping. It wasn't Munoz who got the penalty. He made a great defensive play. Yeah, it happened back here in the secondary uh, in the middle of the field, so anxious to see what this call is. going to be a 15-yard penalty against uh, the Leopards. Yeah, but he's marking it off. We've now been penalized four times for 35 yards. Personal foul, little extracurricular activity there. We've come to the end of the third quarter. We'll switch ends of the field with our score, Nashville 36, DeQueen nothing. We're back for the fourth quarter after this 30-second break. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas, once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. With Nashville leading 36 to nothing, the fourth quarter presented by the Arkansas Army National Guard. A college education is important in today's market but many students and parents wonder how they'll be able to afford it. Well, the Arkansas Army National Guard offers 100% college tuition paid, as well as a $50,000 student loan repayment and a monthly salary and benefits. With Arkansas Army National Guard, you can be a hometown hero. Support your community part-time close to home just one weekend a month and get an education without going into debt. Take the next step to start your future. The next greatest generation is now. Call Antonio Soto at 870-279-0353 to find out more. 12 minutes of football to go here at Leopard Stadium, and it's going to roll quickly with the sportsmanship rule invoked. And as we begin the fourth quarter, and my window is completely fogged up in front of me here in the press box, Looks like Nashville's going to start at uh, other – I guess the officials calling yeah, them all the, together the now. the officials got both teams uh, huddled up together, and he's just, you know, telling them to play smart here. we got 12 minutes to go, and, uh, you know, you don't want to see anybody get uh, ejected in, in this situation. So he's just trying to get everybody to keep the cool. Yeah, you get ejected now, and you have to sit out the first half, you know, the, of the next, next game. game. Well, it's going to be at the 21-yard line. You may have to help me. Follow this, Coach. I see Dixon in the backfield. Yeah, Chambers, Chambers still a quarterback. 
Yep, he's in the pistol. First and 10 at the 21. Dixon gets the call. He's inside the 20, 15, spins at the 10, and he's going to score. Yeah, ran right out the middle there. Had a chance to, uh, to take him down. Great spin move right there, and uh, he walked on into the end zone. Coach, you're a little surprised they still have their first team in there, up 36 to yeah, nothing. Yeah, up 36 in the to nothing in the fourth with the clock running. You know, uh, you know, there's still a lot of season to go, and uh, you get somebody hurt in this situation. Uh, so it is a little surprising uh, still to have starters in at this point. Yeah, kind of a fine line there. You want to make sure your starters get plenty of work in, you know, this early in the season. But, my goodness, you know, yeah, 36 to nothing. All right, on to attempt the extra point will be Jose Perez. And the kick is going to be – It was blocked. I couldn't tell who got their hand up. But it was blocked. Okay. So, with the clock running, Nashville extends the lead – to 42 to nothing. We'll be back for the kickoff after this 30-second break. Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in Dequeen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators, and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in Dequeen or call them 870-642-2851. Well, the Scrappers moved 56 yards in five plays after stopping the Leopards on down. Score coming on a 21-yard run by Tucker Dixon. And catching the ball is going to be Esther, I believe, and he swarmed at about the 21-yard line. Yeah, Nashville uh, sky kicked it one, uh, once again, and uh, again, uh, their coverage team uh, get down the field, and uh, Esther was only able to, to get a yard there to so start the ball there on the 21-yard line. So, Leopards would love to get some points on the board here and uh, build a little momentum going into the bye week and into that rugged 5A South Conference. Yeah, very tough uh, looking looking ahead. And, uh, you know, bye week's coming at a great time and, uh, you know, allows the Leopards to, uh, to heal up and work on some things. All right. Uh, they're going to start out in the wishbone, Binkley underneath center. He's going to hand the last man through, and he's going to, get back to the line of scrimmage and maybe get a couple of yards out to the 23-yard line. Ball carrier that time was uh, who? Donovan Esther. They Esther. ran, yeah. Okay. Double tight bone right there. Uh, run uh, power there to the right side. Got in and picked up two there. Second down and eight. Clock running continuously, so we're going to have a fast fourth quarter here. and Probably a good thing with some of that lightning yeah. off in the distance. It is continued to lightning the whole game. Leopards at their 23. They'll stay in the wishbone set behind Binkley. He's going to run the option right. Pitches for good yardage, 25, 30, out to the 35-yard line. Nice uh, option read and pitch to Cotto, and Ulysses is going to get a – he'll have the first down, pick up about uh, 12 yards, and we're going to tack on a little more, Coach. Yeah, Ram Beer right there. Uh Get to the third phase, but there is a flag on the play here, Jay. Well, it's well, is it against the Queen? It's a, I, there's a flag at the 28 yard line. I thought it was against. Well, they're going to bring that one back. back. My apologies. So it'll be a pickup of holding. five. They called holding. Pick up of five yards. I thought it was a late hit out of bounds there, but and again, you know, get positive yards, get a great play, and, and negate it by uh, penalties. So a pickup of five for Cotto as they mark it off from the spot of the foul. Then a 10-yard penalty will back the Leopards up to about the 18-yard line. So it's going to bring up uh, – they do get the down over, so it's going to bring up uh, what, third 17. down? Second down or third down? I can't see over Second there. down. Second, second to 17. All right. And they're going to – Time out to Queen. Take a time out here with seven – 18 to play. We've got a timeout on the field with our score. Nashville 42, the Queen nothing. We're back in one minute. 
Hi, I'm Lori House, CEO of Sevier County Medical Center. I want to take this moment to extend our gratitude to the community for their continued support of our new and greatly needed hospital, to our Board of Governors and Quorum Court, and to our patients and all of those who help pass the hospital sales tax measure. Thank you for your support of Sevier County Medical Center. We are a community-centered health care facility with a goal of ensuring the health and well-being of Sevier County and all of Southwest Arkansas. Thank you for helping us make our community both stronger and healthier. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of Queen, Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing, lender. Dave Bunyard and Coach Jared Fannin back at uh, Leopard Stadium. Leopard use a timeout there as they're looking at second down, and they, they got to get up to the 31. And they're back at the 17, so it looks like about second down and 14 from where the chains are, back at the 17-yard line. Binkley in the pistol rushed heavily and going to be knocked down back at the uh, 15 or back at the 10-yard line, so he's going to lose seven more. On that sack is uh, Nashville blitz someone from around the right side of the Leopard offensive front. Yeah, uh, Nashville sent a guy there off the edge and uh, was able to uh, get pressure in the backfield and, and, and sack Cole there for a loss. Well, for a while, Nashville was in the 5A uh, classification, but uh, with the addition of the private schools, I understand they're going to bump back down to 4A. So... Binkley takes a snap, flips it out, and the flat is going to be knocked down, incomplete. So bring up fourth down. Leopards like to punt from their own 10-yard line. I, I was actually kind of hoping Nashville would move into our conference because, you know, if uh, administration, fans, whomever insist that we continue to play Nashville every year, I'd just assume it'd be a conference game and allow us to schedule someone else in non-conference. This, you know, coach. This this program just needs some wins, some confidence. Yeah, you need some confidence, need some wins, and uh, you know, if you know that Nashville is a non-conference game for us. So if they did move into our conference, like you said, it would allow us to uh, schedule, uh, you know, some teams, and you know, be competitive with some teams and uh, get some confidence. Uh, and that's all we need. Carmelo Jones back awaiting this punt. He's going to signal for a fair catch, but he watches it hit. Takes a leopard bounce out to about the 48-yard line. So that's a nice uh, 38-yard punt with no return by Munoz. Yeah, Munoz, uh, you know, Nashville's applied the pressure all night long on our on the punt team, but he's able to uh, get off the punts and got some nice rolls uh, at the end of some punts tonight. Well, Coach, we're probably fortunate that we've limited Nashville to six offensive possessions tonight because they've scored on all six. Yeah, they have scored on all six. They, you know, again, they're explosive and, uh, you know, they throw a lot of things at you. They're going to go in motion, get, do a lot of eye candy and, uh, you know, try to get you out of position. Uh, you know, Coach Berlarger, he does a great job uh, with this offense. And the starting quarterback, Chambers, has gone – the entire way, Carmelo Jones takes the hand off his feet, fly out from under him at the midfield stripe. So I think he's going to lose it. Now they're going to keep a great spot wow. at the line of scrimmage. So no gain. No gain there. Uh, but again, you go Chambers. Uh, he's going to looks like he's going to finish out this game and uh... promising sophomore, very talented with his arm and his legs. Jones going to try the left side this time. Breaks a tackle. And he's going to get uh, maybe a back to the line of scrimmage. Leopards really swung that out and defended it well. Yeah, great job, uh, uh, defense, and uh, come up. That's number eight, Larry Labor, coming up, making a, a great tackle right there. So Leopards using this opportunity to get some new faces in the game. So we're inside three minutes to play tonight. Leopards uh, have an open date next week, and they travel to Hope two weeks from tonight to open conference play. Chambers wants to throw again, up 42 to nothing. Leopard's after him, scrambles to his left. Now he throws downfield. It's going to be caught at the 25, and it's going to be another Nashville touchdown as the uh, receiver is going to be number 
I'm having trouble seeing him down there. Yeah, the, the film on the window, it's hard to see there, Jay. But, uh, you know, Chambers dropped back to pass. We got pressure on him like we have, flushed him out. And, uh, you know, the receiver, he does what he's taught to do, just called scramble rules. He uses scramble rules, and uh, Chambers found him for, for the touchdown pass. Still throwing the ball up 42 to nothing. Yeah, I don't understand that there, Jay. You know, try, you, you can work still work on your run game right there. So Perez on to attempt the extra point, and it's good. So it's 49 to nothing, Nashville. We're back for the kickoff in one minute. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now? That your body's healthy? And that those around you are taken care of too? Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years, providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, Rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville. Let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. Well, the kick sails out of bounds, so DeQueen will get the football at their 35-yard line, but I don't know if we're going to have time to get a playoff here with a running clock as we're already down to 14 seconds to go in the game. The Queen uh, unable to pick up a first down in the second half. They rush to the line of scrimmage with two seconds, get the snap off, and Binkley wants to scramble to his right. Now back to his left, he gets it to Esther, and Esther is going to pick up about seven yards before he's shoved out of bounds, and that's going to end the football game. Your final score is Nashville 49, DeQueen nothing. Well, we've got a flag thrown. If it's a defensive penalty, Coach, we'll get one more shot at it. I think it's going to be a late hit out of bounds. Uh, it looks like we are declining that, so the game will be over. Okay. Final score, Nashville 49, DeQueen nothing in the 96th meeting between these two old rivals. We'll be back to wrap it up following this three-minute timeout. Think new for back to school with an auto loan through RRCU. Whether new or used, RRCU has an auto loan rate for you. Apply for your auto loan rate in person or online at rrcu.com. With approved credit, rate and term based on your year model amount financed and credit score. RRCU, we're here for you in all stages of life. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange, because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet. With APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit. Gentry EntryChevyInc.com or check them out on Facebook. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking and savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. 
Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone. So it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. You're on the come up and proud of your grind, which is why the McDonald's app is your favorite app. Waiting in lines? Not great for your bottom line. So you hit the app to order ahead. Your faves are ready when you pull up and you're on your way again with the quickness. Order ahead in the McDonald's app to save time. Use the app, get large fries for a buck. We'll prep while you're on the way when you choose dine-in, curbside, or counter pickup. I participate in McDonald's. Offer valid through 12 31 This offer is only available in the McDonald's app. Nashville wins it over DeQueen here at Leopard Stadium tonight by a final score of 49 to nothing. Our postgame show brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness, where tension and stress come to rest. Licensed massage therapist Sammy Joe Verts offers therapeutic deep tissue Swedish relaxation, massage, assisted stretching services, and halo therapy, which is used in the treatment of respiratory disorders. Skin conditions like acne, uh, collagen rejuvenation, and more. You can find Body Temple Massage and Wellness located beside the DeQueen Health and Wellness Building at 1357 West Collin Ray Drive in DeQueen. For more information, call Sammy at 870-784-7292. Jay Bunyard and Coach Jared Fennin back at Leopard Stadium and uh, Coach, we, we got Nashville in several third and fourth downs uh, off situations offensively tonight, but we just couldn't get off the field. They had six possessions, or actually seven possessions, and scored seven touchdowns. Yeah, you know, uh, Nashville did a great job of converting those. You know, we got them in those spots, but, again, you know, Nashville liked to run power read a lot in that situation. Uh, Kick Chambers uh, reading that and, uh, you know, hurts with his legs tonight. And, and But, again, like you said, he, he threw the ball well also. So, uh, got in some spots and, you know, you get a play here or there, you know, some things could change. And, you know, that's, that goes for both sides of the ball as well. Well, the Leopards finished with 60 yards in total offense tonight, 25 on the ground, 35 through the air. The leading ball carrier was Donovan Esther. He had nine carries for 20 yards. Uh, Gareth Quintero, the fullback, had four carries for 15 yards. But just just too many lost yardage plays that just kept us behind the chains. Yeah, kept us behind the chains. And, uh, you know, you, you, those penalties, they rack up. And then if you have a bobble here and, uh, you know, again, like we talked about this offense, we want to stay uh, in front of the chains. You want to get three or four yards and, and keep that moving. And when you get behind the chains, uh, you know, it's just not built for that. And so we've got to, uh, you know, you, you get a bye week this week and you get an opportunity to, you know, really look at some film and, and where we need to work on some things, both offense and defensively, and, and it's coming at a good time for us. Through the air, junior Cole Binkley was two of seven for 35 yards. Ulysses Cotto had a big catch for 32 yards for the Leopards. For the Scrappers, some of their highlights, uh, sophomore quarterback Carson Chambers, boy, he's growing up in a hurry, Coach, 12 of 21 uh, through – down tonight. Yeah, you know, he, he, he doesn't play like a sophomore, you know. Uh, like you said, he, he last year on the baseball team as a ninth grader, great pitcher, and, uh, you know, he moved in this year uh, up and uh, become the starting quarterback and, uh, you know, does a great job for them, and he can hurt you both running and passing, and, uh, again, he threw the ball well tonight. Speaking of his running, six carries for 66 yards and a touchdown, very effective in that RPO game. Yeah, you know, that's Coach Verlarvich, uh, he, he likes the RPO. Uh, you know, they're going to read the backer. They're going to read the ends and, uh, you know, give him the opportunity. He's either going to throw it or he can run it. So, uh, you know, they they execute that real well tonight. Tucker Dixon led Nashville rushing seven carries for 94 yards and two touchdowns. Trey Hopkins had 13 carries for 88 yards and three touchdowns. And it's time to name our McDonald's player of the game tonight. And, uh, Coach, we're going uh, with uh, junior slot back uh, and cornerback Ulysses Cotto. We talked about that big reception he had for 32 yards, the biggest play from scrimmage so far this year 
with the Leopards, but you were particularly impressed with how Ulysses played on defense. Yeah, you know, you know, early on, you know, look at Cote and Ulysses. He came, you know, from that safety position. You you talking about filling alleys and uh, you know did a great job uh, coming downhill, playing downhill, filling alleys, making uh, several tackles, and then you know offensively had that big. Uh, gain there with a from that pass from Cole and uh so you know Ulysses uh Cotto's McDonald's player of the game tonight for his efforts Ulysses will receive an extra value meal from Steve Celia and all the Leopard fans at McDonald's at the 7071 Junction in DeQueen our post-game show brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness located beside the DeQueen Health and Wellness Building on West Colinray Drive you can call Sammy Joe Burtz and uh, set up an appointment for a massage. Boy, wouldn't that feel good right now? 870-784-7292. That's 870-784-7292. Body Temple Massage and Wellness. Well, uh, we're looking up uh, some scores from uh, the area games. The Leopards managed five first downs tonight. Uh, Nashville finishes with 16. Leopards penalized four times for 35 yards. Nashville flagged four times for 40 yards. And another area the Leopards really improved on, Coach, uh, we had nine turnovers combined in the first two games. Tonight, only one. I know Coach Bell will be happier with that. Yeah, you know, they'll be happy about that. And like I said, I know uh, talking with uh, Coach Bell and Coach Binkley this week, that's uh, one thing they've been really uh, harping on and working on. And, you know, you can tell it's it's paid off with just that one fumble tonight. Well, let's take a look at some other scores from around the area now. It's uh, the scores are presented by Pilgrims of DeQueen, a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. Hope leading Ash down 14 to 6 at Dick Hayes Stadium. Hope will be the Leopards' next opponent in the conference opener two weeks from tonight. And Hope appears to be a much improved ball club. Yeah, much improved uh, from last year. You know, Coach Turner, uh, you know, he's he stayed the course over there uh, when he came from Ashdown and uh, done a great job. You know, they played this uh, national team within three last week. And so, uh, you know, that, uh, Hope is much improved this year. You can uh, listen to the remainder of that game with Jim Cross and Daryl Coker on uh, 102.1, The Good Path. We don't have an update on the dirks Gurdon game. The last score we had, Outlaws were leading the Go Devils 8-6. to six. Last score we had on Mineral Springs, they were leading, uh, running it up on Smackover, 42 to nothing. A final score, Murfreesboro wins their second in a row. They've blown out Bearden and now Episcopal Collegiate. Tonight's final score, 48-7. to seven. Lincoln at home has rallied to take a 39-28 to 28 lead over the Mina Bearcats. Uh, the last score we had, Coach, uh, Little Rock Parkview leading Bryant still, uh, tightening up 28-27. Yeah, uh, would like to go and maybe catch the end of that game online because I know that's going to be a, a great finish there in Bryant. Arkansas High continues to lead Arkadelphia 30-14. to The Razorbacks impressive this year. Hot Springs Lakeside closing the gap a little bit on Malvern. The last score we have, Malvern 28, the Rams 21. And here's a final score. Boonville, a 3A power traditionally, uh, really gave Camden Fairview all they wanted tonight. The Cardinals uh, pull out a 30-22 to victory in Boonville. Yeah, Boonville's a very uh, good 3A team. Boonville runs the flex bone, and I've been running it for, for years. They run it well, and uh, it says a lot about that Boonville team because, you know, Camden's loaded with athletes, so to only get beat by eight uh, says a lot for that program, and it also shows you Camden can go on the road and, and play well as well. So that's a look at uh, some other scores from around the area in our Body Temple Massage and Wellness post-game show located next to DeQueen Health and Wellness Farm Pharmacy on West Collin Ray Drive in DeQueen. We'll coach an open date next week as we've got to get some guys healthy. And uh, like you say, you know, I'm talking to Coach Bell before the game. Uh, they're going to really work a lot on conditioning this week, but maybe let up on some of the physical contact to let some of the joints uh, and uh, and muscles heal up a little bit. Yeah, you still want to stay in game shape and uh, simulate some things. And, you know, you're going to limit the contact this week. One, like you said, get some guys help, healthy, but you can really focus in on some individual things. And, uh, you know, 
you can watch a lot of film and say, hey, we need to improve here, and then you can translate that to the practice field. And then, you know, kind of later on in the week, you'll start looking at, at hope and, uh, you know, start honing in on that game plan. And, you know, it, it's good. You get you open up conference, and uh, you'll have those few extra days to uh, pre- prepare. And uh, I think you'll see a much different uh, Leopard team come out there at hope. And, and uh, they have a chance to scout Hope next Friday night. They play Prescott, and uh, that's always a big, that's big game. always ball. a big game. You know, last year Prescott did beat Hope pretty bad, but, you know, Hope's it's a different Hope team this year. I expect it to be a, a much different football game, and I believe it's in Hope this year too. So, Well, Coach Fannin, we, we surely appreciate you stepping up and uh, helping us out tonight to uh, Tony and Greg had to leave an emergency situation, and uh, uh, you were totally unprepared for this, but a, <laughs> a total class act to step in here and uh, and uh, fill Greg's shoes admirably, and uh, we, we just appreciate you taking the time. Well, I, and again, I'm no Greg, and uh, Greg and uh, Jay and Tony, y'all do a great job, and uh, just glad that I was able to help, and any time anything comes up, I'm willing to do it, and uh, again, just thank you for the opportunity, and I appreciate it. Uh, we appreciate you. Well, uh, again, the uh, DQ TV uh, broadcast is archived tonight because it's a home game. We do want to thank our rotating sponsors in the upper left-hand corner. They are Southern Home Furniture and Interiors, Sandy Huntsberger and her staff offering quality furniture, exceptional service, and they are the Queen's only locally owned and operated furniture store. By the Queen Auto Group, family-owned dealership for nearly 40 years, great selection of new and pre-owned vehicles by George Rivas Garage and Wrecker Service. When you need a tow, call George Rivas Garage and Wrecker Service, 642-4158. And Kawasaki of Idabel. Whether it's for work or play, Kawasaki of Idabel has it covered with a large selection of tractors, trailers, mowers, side-by-sides, go-karts, motorcycles, and more. We want to thank all of our sponsors on DQ-TV. And uh, since we are at Hope two weeks from tonight, you can watch that game live on DQ TV. The home games are archived and available for your viewing uh, following the action tonight. So for all of our crew here tonight, we start out with Tony and Greg. Again, they had to leave. Our thoughts and prayers with them. We want to thank uh, Coach Jared Fannin for filling in admirably tonight with his insight and analysis. I'm Jay Bunyard. Final score, a Nashville 49, DeQueen Nothing until we talk to you two weeks from tonight from Hammond Stadium in Hope. So long, everyone. Have a great weekend. The DeQueen Leopards are on the air. DeQueen.